And we're live. Welcome back, everyone, to another live stream. Today, I am going to be, hopefully, building um, that set back there, the Quidditch set. Uh, you know, maybe going to review that set. I haven't reviewed this set. I was planning on doing a stop motion for it, but we'll see when that can happen. Uh, if you don't know already, on the Brick Nation channel, which I believe is linked, linked below, I have um, the first update to um, the Harry Potter stuff back here, which um, will be primarily on there other than the final video being on this channel. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go follow that channel, please go check out the link below. Let me make sure it's there. Um, yes, it is there. So, uh, let's see. The Master Block is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Cool. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm just going to fix this little section right here because I wanted to have, like, a nice little setup in the back there. So we have, you know, some flush sets. I might even switch out this. I, I don't know if I can put the other sets there, but we'll try. Hey, Collecting Bricks is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. All right. Let's go back there real quick and uh, get that fixed. Okay, perfect fit. I don't know if these sets can fit. Nope, they cannot. They are way too big. Because I have this set, though. I don't know. I think I'll just leave it like that. You know, trying to make it all looking nice back here, uh, very well presented and such. Uh, but you know, I don't have much sets. Uh, sometime in the future, I'll get some more sets. Potentially have some more on there. Hey, you got uh, the rest of the HP sets? No, no. Sadly, I I don't have all of them yet. I just have three, I think now. Well, I have four here, but um, three of the actual sets. But um, hopefully soon, um, I plan on getting five of the Great Halls, three more Whopping Willows, and three more of the Quidditch sets. Uh, so I've kind of like already made the estimate of how much money I have to get for that. So hopefully we can um, get more of those sets here soon because uh, I desperately need them for this, uh, this awesome mock back here. And uh, today they just revealed the micro um, uh, Hogwarts set, which is really cool. Um, I was like one of the first person, uh, one of the first people to actually look at it. Uh, I should have made a video about it. However, I was at school, so I did not have the chance. So sadly, I was not one of the first people to, you know, kind of make a video about it. Or, um, you know, I, I won't make a video now. But uh, yeah, sadly, uh, wasn't was too late. Uh, I was in school, so kind of stunk. T Fall Bricks is here. Welcome, thank you so much for coming. MLG Gaming is also here. Thank you so much for coming, MLG. Okay. Noise stream. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Glad you like stream. Let's knife this. All right, knifed. Get knifed. All right. So let's see what we got in here. I don't know where I should build this. Uh, obviously, it should be right here, so let me pour it out. Is that it? Man, these boxes are so wasteful. They should pack these better. Because, like, this huge box, why would you do that? It's costing them more to ship uh, these type of boxes when you get free shipping anyways. Uh, are you going to build this set? Yes, I will be building this set, hopefully. We'll see how well this goes. Uh, currently, we have eight people watched, so it's, you know, pretty decent right now. So, first off, we have bag number two. So, we're already out of order. So, that's great. Let's pick up the right one. Bag number one. Pretty interesting. Um, a lot of decent parts in here. I really hope that I can um, get a few of these sets to make uh, these little towers and such, the Quidditch towers. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're called. Uh, but, yeah, I, I want to make them pretty awesome looking. Like, uh, get, get four of them to make a UCS looking one. So here's a sticker sheet. Really amazing stickers here. Um, really awesome. Can't wait to, uh, you know, get some, some more to, you know, make, use all these stickers around the build and such. It will, you know, it's going to look amazing. Not wait. Okay, so we have bag number three as well. So that is awesome. And one instruction booklet and two instruction instruction booklets. This one is uh, badly uh, like folded up and such. Bag one hundred, dude. That would be crazy. Like uh, the other, uh, like a few weeks ago or something. I had uh, what was it? Three of the ultimate ultimate weapons, and you know, like, it comes with eleven uh, different bags, and those added up together is like you know, 33, so that for three, uh, 
three sets combined and such is kind of crazy. Like that is really amazing. And right now I, I do have, um, I guess in a, I don't know how many bags they have in the um, Kessler Millennium Falcon, you know, the new Han Solo Millennium Falcon. But, you know, I have three of those now, and there are quite a few bags in that one as well. Let's see, I keep all the boxes from my Lego. Uh, I can't say I do that anymore, but, you know, these boxes look amazing, so I might want to keep them. However, the very small one that comes with the spider, you know, that, that can easily get um, damaged pretty quickly, so I might not keep that one, sadly, because, you know, it's already, you know, already damaged slightly. So we'll see um, how, um, how good it actually is looking right now, I guess, in a way. Uh, and, uh, geez, Jamie Bricks is here. Welcome to someone for coming. I think the Voltron set might have 100. No, dude. <laughs> Your estimate is way off right there, man. Uh, let me open this up real quick. Okay, so yeah, uh, Voltron set, it's more like 12. I, I'd say it's 12. I think it's a 160 or $180 set, so it's more than likely 12 uh, bags in that set. Uh, let's see. Hey, Mini Brick Productions is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming, man. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, um, uh, BFAB can come around. Uh, he said that he was off today, so that's why I, of course, streamed, so I can get him in here because, you know, we're the duo. We, uh... <laughs> We make uh, these streams together, so I'm going to send him a text right now, I guess, in a way. See if uh, he's up. <laughs> See if he can come in. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, probably 12. Yeah, definitely. That face was funny. <laughs> Brick Worlds. <laughs> Call me Brick Worlds. Hey, man, you up? Okay. So I got two little uh, small bags. I cracked them open as well. I think we have, um, what's his name? Slither? I don't know if it's Slither. Uh, Snape? Oh, God, I gotta watch the films again. I have no idea what um, what the characters are called other than Hermione and uh, <laughs> Harry Potter. Um, shoot, uh, what's his, what his friend's name? Don't know the friend's name. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much about them. Definitely will have to watch the films again because I definitely need uh, some more research on um, the sets, uh, or, uh, you know, the big Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts set. So we're going to be building that here soon. Hermione. Her, 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 what? Why are you spelling out that way? Hermione. Hermione? Why are you saying that? <laughs> Seems a little weird. Uh, BFAB said he was going to the dentist right now it's 7 38 in central time why would he go to the dentist right now that's crazy uh the lego dual squad actually i need to schedule my dentist appointment here soon um i'm a little late on doing it probably a month late so i got to do that here soon um hey man sorry i'm late no, dude we just started a few minutes ago so welcome thank you so much for coming really appreciate it all right um so we have two new wands in here. We have the dark, or let me make sure it's two new. Yeah, it is dark tan and black. So now I have four different types of wands. Sorry, you can't really see it that well. So, you know, a little far camera. AWM Lego Films is here. Welcome to you so much for coming. Um, doo -doo -doo. I've, oh God, my spelling is so off today, Brick Rolls. That was a typo. No, yeah, no problem, man. Um, I get that all the time. My computer just hates me for some reason. It always, you know, autocorrects my sentences. Sometimes just uh, makes me look <laughs> stupid from some of these messages it uh, sends through and such. All right, so I believe we have Jan, Huma Jan Hermione. Yeah, I can't say the name. Hermione, let's just, yeah, Hermione, awesome. So I got her now, so pretty cool. Um, hmm, let's see, AWM, I, welcome, thanks so much for coming. Um, Hermione, okay, so I wanted to read this. I've read all the books in four months and watched all the movies in three weeks. Holy cow, man, that is really impressive. My sister, she is like a, a, 
a bookworm like that too reads books pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know. I, I think she reads a little faster. I don't know how how much she can read. I think it's like 200 pages within four hours or, or less. I don't know exactly. Oh, Beef have responded. Let's let him know. I am streaming. Just wanted to know if you wanted to join. You can join. No problem if you can't. I don't know why I asked if he was up. <laughs> I guess because I know he's like a night owl for his jobs and such. Uh, that kind of makes sense. Oh no, he said that during Brick Live stream. Okay, I don't know when Brick Live streamed, but um, yeah, cool. So let's see. Uh, do do do. Hello, hello. What bacon? What bacon? What is it? That uh, do, do, do. is there someone named Bacon? Oh, wooden bacon. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, so he will be joining in in a few minutes. Uh, let me send him a link just in case. Um, so you can join in the panel before I guess he joins in the chat or something like that. Uh, yeah, see, hi sister. <laughs> Brother, I was waiting for you to show up. It was actually young. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop saying Hermione because I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> and you keep spelling it, who my me? Why do you spell it like that, dude? <laughs> auto what I hate auto cucumber <laughs> nice oh I'm uh, just doing uh, my okay maybe I can't join yeah he's, he's, he can join what are you talking about man I read 100 pages a day and I uh, in the last two books I read 200 a day dude that is crazy I can only read, read like two chapters a day <laughs> because I uh, could get poor, bored pretty quickly excuse me, voice crack, uh, get bored pretty quickly from uh, reading them. Even though, you know, reading helps your, you, <laughs> I don't know in what way, but it helps you. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I gotta do that at some point. I do like reading, however, I'm not like the biggest reader, so I can't, um, can't stay connected to reading a book for too long or else I will get super bored. Like, I can binge YouTube, Netflix so well. <laughs> I just can't binge reading. <laughs> My sister, she's the complete opposite. Or, she's somewhat the same, but uh, she just loves to read. So, I'm glad she <laughs> she's a reader. Uh, oh, I'm all about making lists. I like making lists, too. Like, you know, uh, tomorrow, I have a list already. <laughs> I have a lot to do tomorrow, and I hope I can get it all done. Because, you know, there's a lot. I'm now sorting a huge pile of Lego and knockoff. So I won't be chatting much. Okay, no problem, man. Always do that. Um, um, I, I, you know, I always do that myself. Uh, definitely have to get those uh, bricks sorted and put away, except for the knockoffs. Uh, destroy those, please. Destroy them. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 what else we got? Just got back from the dentist. I'll join. Okay, awesome. Welcome, BFAB. Thank you so much for coming. I sent you a, a message or a link, so you can use that to hop in. Really appreciate it. Um, um, you know that you're free and you're willing to join a young, small YouTuber like myself. Uh, let's see, you aren't, uh, you are not late at all. Oh, did he say he was late? Oh, okay, I guess I missed something. I'll be fab, senpai, senpai. What the heck? Uh, Global Bricks, uh, it's Louis. Louis, hopefully I'm saying the right. Welcome, you two. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You are okay. I already saw that. Awesome. Dent, uh, brother, I told them you were at the dentist and they didn't believe me. I did not know. You know, he didn't tell me, or I don't know why he would tell me, but you know, he told you on the stream. So uh, I believed you slightly. I did not know why it was this late hour. Like, who? Oh, you guys here. Welcome. Thanks so much. Not too much. How about yourself? How was the dentist? <laughs> It was not fun. I was there for two hours, right? I, I mean, my appointment was at five, and I didn't get back to like seven something. That's crazy. Why do you have a dentist appointment so late? Uh, because I mean, it was like a last minute thing. So my mother was trying to call around to um, try to see if somebody could get my molars like taken out like the mm -hmm. same day. And so, you know, she called around, and, you know, after she found place, some place that would, you know, had an appointment at five. Yeah, and instead, all they did was clean my teeth, take X-rays, and they didn't even take out my. Nose, so, wow. they're like, oh yeah, we could do it today. 
And I'm like, oh, okay, so that was a waste of two hours. Oh, also, they took a laser to my gums, though. So I had to pay extra for that. Like, my insurance covered everything, but then, like, yeah, your gums going to start, like, getting destroyed. You want to do this laser thing? It's only $65. I'm like, okay. That is crazy. Yeah, I got to schedule my dentist here soon because I'm going to lose my insurance. So I got to do it before I lose that because I don't want to pay so much for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I think you're on your parents' um, – Insurance till you're 21, all right? Yeah, yeah. So I have a few months left. So I got to schedule my appointment hopefully tomorrow. And that will be on my list of things I have to take care of. That is cool. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I hate the dentist. I wish I didn't have to go, but, you know, it's, it's something. <laughs> Let's just say this dentist, play, this is the first time I ever went to this one. And there's a lot of hot women there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I might want to come back a couple times. And they're oh like, my hey, God. my teeth is falling out. There's nothing wrong with you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, who we got in here? I'm new to the channel. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining the channel. Really appreciate it. It's Louis. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. I'm very sorry. Um, let's see what uh, oh, just a kid that rants is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming, man. Appreciate it. Uh definitely helps me. Rain definitely helps you, really. It helps me to fall asleep, I guess. You know, it rains pretty peaceful. Uh, please move your tail. Move my tail? What? <laughs> I will never. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll burn the knockoff bricks in a video. <laughs> awesome. That'll be a pretty awesome video. Just to talk to you. Aw, oh, you just came to talk to him. How rude. Uh, are you going to buy the new LEGO Ideas Voltron set or the new Harry Potter big set? I don't know. I'm a little torn between the big set. Uh, I might want to see videos first on who reviews it first, you know, see how they react towards it. It looks so nice, though. Like, literally, like, in my opinion, like, I'm mind blown. I saw this set. I literally stood there for, like, 10 minutes and just stared at it. I'm like, this is a beauty. The only issue is, like, you know, I have I want to get the rest of the Harry Potter sets. I'm guessing Lego's going to give us more sets to connect to the other sets that we already have, right? Hopefully, so yeah. if I end up buying a, the micro scale thing, it looks phenomenal, right? And all mm -hmm. of a sudden, Lego keeps giving us pieces to the other older castle parts or whatever, like to the Great Hall and the Whomping Willow set, right? Yeah. Lego keep, and let's say all of a sudden we keep getting more and more pieces, and eventually you can build the gigantic castle, and all of a sudden I have a gigantic mini micro scale one. I don't know if it's worth it, but it looks great. I was mind blown. I'm like, Dang, give us like an X-Mansion or like a, you know, a Wayne Manor other than like a joker as one. You know, I love that more in my opinion. I think it would be really cool if they did like what some um, other toy companies do with uh, if you combine this set with this set, you'll make a bigger set. It would be awesome if they kind of did that. I know that they kind of do that with the Whopping Willow and the, the Great Hall. However, more of that, like we don't just want that little section with the. Uh, that doesn't even relate to the movie itself uh, because it doesn't, you know, match up really. If they do more of like um, uh, some of the things that actually connect to it uh, and build on from that even more to like uh, the, uh, the uh, what's it called, um, the quarters of all the students and such and like uh, uh, all the um, uh, classrooms, then that would be awesome. That would be amazing if they did that because I would definitely buy all those sets. You know, we'll build a huge castle out of like five sets or something that they make out of um all that. Yeah, but if they want to like do it on par with the micro scale one to make it you know bigger with the other like other sets we already have, we're gonna probably need more than five of those, you know. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't talking about the micro scale. I would like uh, it to be a actual. Yeah, yeah, actual that's what scale. I was saying. We would we probably need like more, like five more, like when you were saying we need five more, like to add to it or whatever to well, the like a hundred dollar hundred dollar sets. Oh, okay, like, that, okay, fun. that makes sense more. Okay, not, not like, like super cheap sets because you know the Whoppy Will is seventy dollars itself too, so you got quite a bit there too. So just like other sets uh, combining that are like a hundred dollars, because a lot of people are pretty wealthy in a way, like a lot of Americans can afford something like that. And especially well, this would be the perfect time to ask for a loan. Anybody, if you have a loan of a half a million dollars, feel free to send it to Brick Worlds. He'll give you his link to his PayPal. Uh, PayPal pool below if you want to donate, but <laughs> I, I'm okay right now. I'm just trying to get deals on the set so I can make an amazing mock for you guys. Hopefully sometime in the future. I just need more of the set. But yeah, uh, yeah, I really like the set, uh, the micro scale set. I just don't know if I should actually get it because um, it wouldn't really relate to how I'm trying to build mine with minifig minifigure scale. 
So um, I'll, I'll probably just watch the videos and eventually down the road, I'll probably purchase it. Um, but you know, it's just coming out and especially since it's just coming out, people are just going to um, uh, buy it out and it's going to be on back order for quite a while. So that's another reason why I should wait. I'll be in the store waiting the first day about to tackle some people to get it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way to do it. I remember with the exo suit, my uh, they Brick Show did a video saying uh, that there would only be like I think they said there was going to be like only five thousand or three thousand something made. They said it was like a really low amount. Like once they're gone, they're gone. So me and my little brother were at the front door of the Lego store. My little brother ran, like started like ran in front of everybody, gr grabbed the first exo suit, and then we bought it just to figure out that wasn't true. So yeah, yeah, I wouldn't trust them anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're gone, so we're good. <laughs> that's that's bad about the the Mr. Gold too, so that's ridiculous. Like you would have made so much money off of that if you had waited. I feel dumb, but I was this dumb kid that oh money, woohoo, you know, but you know, I regret that now. Looking about it, I'm like, oh shoot, you know. That would probably be the same case for me if I wasn't in the situation I'm at now. I would have probably waited uh now instead of then. I like the same for you. You just wanted the money because uh, it might go down, and also it's a lot of money at that time. So you know it's it's quite worth it. But um, at the moment, it's definitely more worth it now to have them. But yeah, that is true. But like, sorry, not to change the topic. I know you were talking about the castle mm -hmm. before. I don't know why the I changed yeah. it. I don't know if I changed it. You did. Sorry, but oh, yeah. for six thousand something pieces, yeah, you know, it's hard to say no. You know, it's like it's such mm -hmm. a good price per piece. You know. Yeah, and I think it's like, like two thousand free parts or something out of that. Like, uh, I don't know if it's like ten cents per part or something, uh, because it's usually like that. And then also the exclusive minifigures there too. But go ahead. Yeah, I mean that was basically what I was gonna say too. I mean, now I wish it wasn't micro scale. I would rather like a half castle that wasn't micro scale, you know, and they give us another half some way else, you know. Or yeah. let's say those like the Whomping Willow, the Great Hall that we have currently. I wish we could have connected it to that, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's really cool looking. It's just like, you know, if it's worth buying. But my goal is to get it the first day. But every time I say that, it never happens. So I'm like, I would get that the first day it comes out. And then I never do that. So, well, you probably will be the first one in line since you usually are up pretty late. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll push everybody out the way. I'll be like, I want this at now. Just like tackle some people. Yeah, it'll be an awesome experience to see um, like all the major collectors or resellers because that's what uh, MNR said the other day about the um, or not MNR it was um, what was his name? Uh, Just too good said that everyone in line to get the Million Falcon set were pretty much resellers that he thought. So uh, it might be some case like that because I guess you know those minifigures would go for quite a bit, and I think that was uh like um the Million Falcon the minifigures in that set are going for quite a bit right away and then now they are significantly less uh expensive than they were before so if you sell them right away then you know you can make a profit but um other than that maybe i'll try to get two of them but watch them be like we're limiting it to one you know probably because or i don't know exactly because the millennium falcon is 800 dollars, and this one's half that so it might have a larger quantity this oh. is crazy because you know six thousand pieces. You think at least it'd be five five hundred dollars or you know six hundred, not you know four hundred. You know. Yeah, that's a it's slightly a bargain in, in a sense, but um, still, you know, uh, since it's micro scale, it kind of lowers it in a way. Maybe that's like the thought process about it. Like it's micro scale, so who's going to really care about this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to buy. That's all I'm going to say. Anybody, if you're in the store and I'm there, you better watch your back. I saw I'm going to beef up. You're not going to attack me. Bro, I just got to stick my foot in front of you. You're going to go flying. <laughs> welcome, uh, Scared Bricks and MNR. Jeez, I'm sorry. That's the second time. Myron and mine, welcome. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Really appreciate it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to you, Myron and mine, as well. Uh, let's see. Let me try and catch up with everything. Uh, I don't know where I'm at. I just skipped um hi from britain welcome running quick with bricks uh thank you so much for coming appreciate it um holy tooth out of the <laughs> i'm going to do a video on it for a review awesome sounds great man uh what's up mlg for real for real my mind uh i was going to get all the harry potter sets but now uh, all the money uh, all the money will go to the uss hogwarts okay so you really like the hogwarts then if you're really gonna 
just purchase the Hogwarts uh, to begin with, uh, with all the money that you saved up for that. So that that's really cool. I do not like the DC to see castle. I don't know what that is. Uh, the Hogwarts castle. I guess what you're saying. Would that be director consumer castle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Had to decipher it. So okay, cool man. Um, actually, no, not cool. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I <read> it. <laughs> Okay, can anyone else join, or is it's just you guys? At the moment, uh, BFIM and I are just like a little duo, so if everything um, keeps going as well as it's going right now, then uh, we'll stick with this, but um, eventually, you know, we might have some other person come in, uh, but at the moment, I think we're just going to stick with uh, him and I. You can invite Ryan. I don't yeah, know. if Ryan wants to come in, then uh, I guess I'll send him a text. Uh, I don't know if he's busy or not, but uh, we'll see. If you don't want to be my bro, then fine. Rip. Uh, I'm getting all the Harry Potter sets. Okay, cool. Let me join, bro. Not right now, man. Uh, hashtag sponsor BW. Uh, here he has friendship ring. <laughs> 3K parts, or, or sorry, 6K parts for 399 uh, is a good price. Definitely. Ted uh, and Flit, Flitz, is Flitz Bricks. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. What else we got? I'm building a Lego Tilted Towers mock for from Fortnite. Awesome. Really cool, man. I'm not castle. If I get a PO box, I will send you, you the UCS file. Yes. Okay. Make it well, actually, do already have one. Well, my dad has one. Okay, it's PO box. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's see. Lost the friendship ring. I gave it to oh my god. Sorry, but I have to go. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much for coming. You're probably already gone because I'm far behind. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Me too. When you sell something, you have to have a price in mind you're comfortable with uh, and not look back on how much it goes up, uh, up or down. It'll drive you crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like I've had that before, but right now I'm at a good place, so I don't have to worry about the things I've Kind of sold in the past. I don't know if Beef have has that situation with the Mr. Gold. Oh, I regret. I cry every single day. You know. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> News flash. <laughs> Beef have regrets his Mr. Golds. All man right. cries every day. Nineteen year old man cries every day. That'd be a great article. Somebody write it. Did you see? Uh, just not to change the topic. Did you see on Reddit the whole drama between Maniac for Bricks made it on Reddit? No, I did not. <laughs> it made it on Reddit. Somebody made an article about it on Reddit. That is crazy. Can't and I'm it. like, this is hilarious. I mean, there's so much spelling errors. I'm like, somebody <laughs> literally made this. And people are like, this is the most petty thing all out there. And I don't know. That's people are like, two Lego YouTubers fighting, or two Lego YouTubers fighting, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. People were not really that supportive on Reddit. <laughs> so, it's kind of <laughs> Well, uh, at least they're kind of against that situation then. Yeah. It is pretty useless set. Okay. So you really don't like it then? All right. Uh, oh, man. Am I how far behind am I? Okay. I'm almost there. I'm trying to pop. Brick Pasta is here. Welcome, Brick Pasta. Sorry. I'm trying to text MNR right now. So just give me a second. Uh, he just wanted to. I can answer or read out the questions. Right? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I, I got to figure this out. So. Okay, so let's see. So, um, running quick with bricks was gonna get the mini figs. Um, let's see. Uh, MLG wants to let me to know that he's like a brick wall, so I can't get to him. Oh, you'll see about that. I can knock people over within ten seconds. They don't call me B fat for a reason. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um let's see. Um, brick pasta says selling regrets are the the worst. I agree, they are. Um, brick world B fat thinks he can fight me, bro. What? I didn't say that, MLG. Um, let's see. But did a subreddit get created from it? I'm confused about that question. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a sub post about it on Reddit, so I guess. Um, let's see. Uh, brother from another brick world at 5K or 10K, have you to open a P.O. box? Who wouldn't want to give you guys stuff? I have people right now literally asking, hey, can we send you some free stuff? And, um, you know, well, I want to send you to open a P.O. box. I'm like, I don't know. Every, I feel like every couple of live streams, there's like two or three people that ask me to open a P.O. box or people asking, what's your P.O. box? And I'm like, you know, it, free stuff is fun, but it's like, I don't want to open a P.O. box just to get free stuff. It'd be like 
more the notes that matter. I forgot who I was talking to about that. Was I talking to you about it, Brick Worlds, or was I talking to Ryan? Might have been Ryan. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it was me. I don't remember that. Okay, but I was talking to somebody. <laughs> somebody about um saying that um what's it called that uh, like uh, you know people are saying like it's more for the notes or whatever you know and i'm like yeah that's fine but i have a feeling people are gonna still send me stuff and you know that i feel a little bad about it you know yeah <laughs> yeah it'd be pretty cool because you have the fan base so people might be interested in uh, sending you stuff so that would be really awesome watch them i'm gonna send me a bunch of like beef jerky or something I was just gonna... <laughs> I'll be... oh never mind <laughs> Brick World is like, oh yeah, cool, I'll be fine. And then he's like, wait a second, you're vegan. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. So you know? <laughs> I'd be the first one to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that's what's gonna happen because you know beef jerky doesn't go bad. I mean, at least for a while. <laughs> so it's like, I know I'd get like a bunch of that in the mail. I'd be like, oh, and I got a Lego set and some beef jerky and a note and some more beef jerky. You know. I wish there was a uh, a book about how to be a, a meatitarian. That would be funny. <laughs> if there was like some punny uh, punny books out there that would just <laughs> funny. <laughs> but no, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> You'd probably be upset at me. <laughs> I mean, I don't get angry that much. I'd just be like, really, guys, and then throw it away. But you know, that would be fine. That would be funny if you like uh, you got some meat in the mail and you're like. Well, guys, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to burn it <laughs> and actually give it to a homeless man because, of course, it's food. So, so yeah, fair point. Maybe, yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot of homeless people around where I'm at, but, you know, if I did see a homeless man, like, hey, you want, like, 20 packs of beef jerky? You know? Uh, let's see. Uh, is there subreddit? Okay, so you pretty much caught up with most of these comments. Uh, Rye Guy Five is here. Welcome you so much for coming. And Adam Spawn is also here. Thank you guys so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Spawn in the city. Sorry, yeah, I don't know if you know who the guy, but yeah. <laughs> as my Toys R Us uh, closed down here, oh, your Toys R Us are closing down. Yeah, Australia, I think also loses. I think Canada is the only place, and some places in Asia might still have some open. But that is crazy. crazy. Let's go to Canada. Come on, we need a Canada uh, convention. I'll go down to Canada. Let's sneak over the border so that we can, uh, you know, what's it called? Uh, brain them without them knowing. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I forget. I was told that you could go to Canada legally going over the border. You don't have to worry about it, but you can't leave without the proper documentation. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, you can't come back to the U.S. And then, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you're you're Mexican. <laughs> How do you come from Canada? I'm like, not here. Hi, man. Me, me no speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I almost went to toy, uh, Target today. I was going to see if they had any of the Harry Potter minifigs, but after going to the dentist, my mom was like, I'm hungry, and because I was actually practicing driving, I'm like, you know, I'll just go home, whatever. Uh, I, I I don't want to remember the past anymore of what happened. With was, what? You know, our little circumstance, our little thing in Chicago. Oh, with me leaving all the time? No. <laughs> The second that I let you drive. Oh. <laughs> it was so it was so much different, you know? It, it was like oh, the roads are so much more crammed, in my opinion, and, like, there's so many more turns and this and that. And I've been driving the last three days because I finally got back the vehicle. Um, So, you know, I think I did pretty good. I didn't kill us yet, so we're, we're alive. <laughs> well, I, I hope that um everything works now because uh, driving is – you know, kind of fun in a way when you're independent, you have your own car and, you know, license, you can go anywhere. So I, I like that aspect, but, um, you know, I, I hate to drive. I just, it's so stupid. And these drivers on the road, they're just so stupid. They don't know how to drive at all. So it's so, yeah, I just want to stay away from all those people that um, kind of just like are on their phones all the time. I, I've met two people today on the phone on 95. It was ridiculous. I had to go. 25 miles over the speed limit to get by them. So I was okay. going, I was going 95 miles <laughs> by them because they were they were swerving in and out. I was like, I don't want to deal with this. Boom. Yeah, you, you want to be, yeah, you want to be, you want to survive. Yeah. Yeah, like even semi trucks too. Like I, uh, I get by them real quickly because you know if they swerve a little bit, the whole thing's going to swerve. So it's 
it's really uh i get really nervous being around those but i mean it's not like the worst thing like i realize that you know driving and construction is probably my favorite thing for some reason driving by construction is in construction like when they're doing construction on roads we used to go out like swore places and do this and do that and yeah yeah, yeah. yesterday i had that same thing happen like they made us cross over into the other uh section you know like uh, the oncoming traffic so that was just ridiculous. I hate those type of things. I wish uh, they didn't have to do extra construction. I find it fun because, I don't know. I actually don't have a reason, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's fun going through construction. <laughs> I just like it so much. I actually hit one of the workers. You know, he, he's kind of <laughs> lying there. I'm like, you need help, sir? Then he, he didn't respond, so I just drove away, you know. <laughs> what are you doing on the world, road, man? <laughs> <laughs> you want you to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> not a reason, man. Um, yeah, it was funny, but they were doing construction last night also, and it was ridiculous. But they were doing it at like ten o'clock when I went to work um, at my second job, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. All of a sudden, a guy like pops out of nowhere, and he's holding like this stupid flag, and I'm like, I, I felt like I was gonna almost hit the guy, but I saw his reflective stuff. But like, literally, you know, if it wasn't for that, bye. You know, <laughs> I have to wear that stuff, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think they always have to wear that, and also, you know, their hats, so that we know they're construction workers and such. Uh, let's see. I'm a voice crack, T fall. I'm go <laughs> done growing. Not done growing. You're still young, man. You got so much left. I wish I was still young. I feel so old, and responsibility sucks. S same. Like, I hate college. <laughs> college stinks. I just want to be done with it. I have a few days left, and then I'm done with uh, the semester. But then I go into the next semester, and the next, and the next. <laughs> just one after the other. It's ridiculous. Uh, the stores that sell Lego in, Auss uh, in Asia are basically discount by for less stores. Oh, okay. Interesting. Never call a teenage child kids <laughs> off Oh, my God. Uh, I'll send you some Coke. Hopefully it's Coca-Cola because you missed out uh, the Ola part of Coca-Cola. Uh, let's see. As the Asian 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 price is two hundred percent cheaper. Really, two hundred percent cheaper? Really? I don't. Would they pay you money to do that? Because I think that would calculate to that that form. Because it would be better if like it was ninety percent cheaper. Because that would be amazing. But uh, I don't know. I, I think Australia has like a. Um, 10% uh, more expensive and also the exchange rate too. So it's kind of ridiculous on that front for them paying for Lego overpriced. And but I mean, at least Australian people are cool. They all have the Australian accents. And, you know, I wish I was Australian. Yeah, <laughs> get that Aussie accent. That would be amazing. Walk around. Good day. Oh, actually, no, I don't know if that's Aussie. Good day, mate. <laughs> Something like that. Maybe it's British. I don't know. I'm getting the accents mixed up because I don't have the accent. I think my Australian accent is quite good. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> hey, Adam Spong, do you approve? What? <laughs> Adam Spong is Australian. I was trying to see if he approved my Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> Got to get an Aussie's approval. So. Uh, let's see. Hello, BFAB old. <laughs> I'm old. I'm older than BFAB. It's crazy. We're all old. Oh. We're all dying slowly. That's a fact about life. Hey, Iceberg. Uh, Briggs is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, Iceberg. <laughs> Iceberg is awesome. Uh, I like how BFAB likes driving through construction <laughs> so much that he complains when uh, complains when there is construction during his he class when he isn't driving. Hmm? I'm missing something there. <laughs> That's what he says. He class then. I I don't know. <laughs> I I'm a bit confused, but okay. <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> good day, mate. Oh, good. <laughs> G date, mate. <laughs> what? I don't think Adam Spong approved of my accent. He didn't comment anything about it, so I'm kind of butt hurt. I need to try a different accent now. <laughs> I'm the old lady here, Epic Golds. You're not old. You're not that old. Don't Just you? Just 92. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't judge. 92. Oh, God. Uh, are not four foot. I'm five 
two, you five two. Yeah, it would be crazy for four foot, like uh, especially. <laughs> Maybe a little bit on the short side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have been cast in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, yes, Aussies pay thirty percent. Um, yeah, and we pay sixty percent tax. Okay. Never going to uh, Austra Australia. Uh, yes, Adam Spong approved of my accent. <laughs> Let's see. Shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> I don't want to eat meat on a plastic doll. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. <laughs> he said Barbie, so he thought it was like, um, uh, geez, now I'm whatever. <laughs> losing my mind. Barbecue instead of Barbie. This is so weird. It's so tight. Like, is it supposed to be like that? Oh, so what? This little fire piece. It's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, it is. <laughs> it's a really small play feature that doesn't go very far. You know what's like, weird about building the Harry Potter sets is I have them all built on the floor, right? They're all done. I have every single one of them. Oh, that, that Hedwig thing. That thing goes for 500 bucks on eBay. The, like, the Target exclusive Hedwig statue. Oh, a old um, a old Harry Potter set. No, 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 no. Uh, you know about the Harry Potter Target building event that was recently? Yes. Wait. Yeah, so you they, have... had a, they had a build that like one person wanted each like I guess Target or whatever, and it was a build of the owl, right? It was oh, okay. Bucks or whatever, going for five hundred bucks on eBay. That is amazing. Oh my god. And little kids just probably want like, oh yeah, I have a I have a statue of Hedwig right now. The, the good thing is there's no rare pieces, so you can piece it together if you wanted to. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely do that and then sell that. But yeah, I mean, then it's like, you know, um, you know, there's instructions for it. And uh, like Brick Vibe, he got the instructions from somebody who had it or whatever and, you know, decided to share it with him. So Yeah, Brick Vibe gets everything. He's kind of like Minute for Your Dreams. He gets uh, the deals from the local people, so he's very lucky with that. Rogue's Brick Builds is here. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Also, Brook Vibe got a uh, Black Lightning, and he paid only one ten for it. Nice. Compared to me paying one forty five, and now they're going for about one twenty. So and that would have been one seventy, but then eBay had their coupon. So when I put that whole video up, it's going to be called my most regretful purchase or something. Because yeah. I, I've I've always really good at getting awesome deals for Sadio Comic Con, and I'm like, you know, I want to be the first one to have it. You know, one of the first. So I want to you know do this and do this and do that. And it all backfired against me, so thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Brick Worlds, I'm five days away from August 1st, brah, so I can buy the Voltron set. Awesome, man. Well, good luck. I hope Is that... Is it your birthday or something, then? I don't know. Potentially, maybe. I, I don't know exactly, but uh, August 5th, uh, really, it's five days away. I thought we had the 31st in this month. Yeah, we do. No, no. There's a 31st. No, but 31st is there's one in August. I know this because my brother is born August 31st. I'm looking right at it. Really? Are you serious? July has a 31st. Right at it. Right at it. How? That's so weird. That what August has to have 31 days too. Really? Yeah. Never mind. I'll look at that again. I'll see. Okay, never mind. My mistake, I guess both of them have 31 days. Yeah. Super long. <laughs> weird. Well, I guess it's oh god, it's fire! Luckily, these uh, little builds—if you drop test it, it probably won't break because it's. Oh, it does! I kicked it off my table a couple times already. Well, I guess uh, kicking it off the table. Well, let me rephrase it. So I was trying to clean up my room, right? And I literally fell a little forward. When I say kicked, I'm kind of exaggerating. <laughs> no, I, I fell kind of forward on my table and kind of bumped it off and uh, broke. And the one you held up is the one that keeps breaking in half. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, oh, um, yeah. you know, I should probably just test that here in a second after I build it. <laughs> you have said it's gonna break, so let's see. <laughs> so do you have all the sets right now? I cleaned up my room and put them all together. They all look so nice together, like the little, I guess, display I have. I guess. Not really I hope to get all the sets. Uh, I just want the deals in a way first, because right now, you know, I have one of the expensive sets that I got twenty dollars off. So you know, that's pretty decent. 
Mifab, would you shave all the hair in your body, in your body, uh, on his body, uh, for three sets of your choice? Yeah. I, I, I do that. I don't know. That's a lot of hair, though, but still. <laughs> There's not a lot of hair on my body. Same. You know. I, mean, I don't like shaving my arms and my legs and, you know, other stuff. And then, you know, my. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got it. You got you thought wrong. I'm not being. No, I wasn't thinking that. Was okay, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my, none of my, you know, my hair too. You know, um, I don't care. I've been bald so many times, so. Yeah, eyebrows and eyelashes. I, I don't know. Oh, that too. Oh, I'll just get some tattooed on or whatever, like those women. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've seen people with eyebrows where they look like they look like potatoes, you know? It's like let's see. I've been seeing Brick Vibes videos pop up uh, a few times. I'm intrigued in his stuff. I think he only does streams. I think that's what he said. Like he only does streams ever. So it's really crazy. So he's kinda like Brick Attack just streaming all the time. Brick Attack is streaming way less, and I'm kinda butthurt. Brick Attack doesn't like me, I can tell. News flash. <laughs> news flash. News update. <laughs> Brick Attack does not like this YouTuber anymore. Let's see. Well, like he doesn't invite me to his streams. I think I've already told you this. He doesn't even acknowledge when I'm in the chat anymore unless I super chat. So it's like, oh, come on, bro. You know, at least he, but he still comments on my videos, but I guess he doesn't want to affiliate himself with me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's messed up. But, um, you know, there's other people that are better than that. That is true. And that's why I like talking to y'all. So. <laughs> Well, I like talking to everybody. Like, the people in the group still like me. I guess I had to say, hey, you guys kicked me out of group to get invited in again. So, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, it's still fun to talk to everybody. I'm not going to just be exclusive to a group anymore that I was doing for a while, you know? Yeah. Chilling uh, chat. Oh, man. What should I call it? Chilling chat. Okay, chill and chat with B, with B Fab. Okay, that's what I'm gonna, gonna call it. Let's see. Uh, B Fab, my birthday is May fifteenth. That's sad. B Fab is my friend. Doesn't know. I don't even know your birthdays. <laughs> I don't think you told anyone. So yeah, unless you told us back then. But sorry if we forgot. I don't remember people's birthdays. I forget. Like uh, probably a day before I remember. But I. I B Fab's birthday too. I, I think it was like a month ago or something, right? Two months ago. <laughs> You're way off. I, I believe yours is in October. Oh man, you're a better friend. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? October 29th. Oh, so I got. It. I still said October. I got the yeah. mother, right? I know. I said that you're a better friend. Oh, so okay. I thought you said we'll I was a better friend. I'm like, what? A minor February. So you're way off. Oh god. Oh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Like, literally, we're not just sitting here. I don't even remember barely any of my friend's birthday. It's not like we're just sitting there thinking, well, it's his yeah. friend's birthday, you know? It's, yeah. it's, like, it's not offensive. It's like if somebody forgot your name, that'd be a little bit offensive. Well, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Welcome, Red Brick Studios. Uh, thanks so much for coming. Uh, let's see. That is why the Harry Potter is uh, out before the birthday is has been 20 years Misses something again, but uh, I believe the 20 year anniversary, maybe for Hog or Harry Potter, then maybe uh, zero to 100, real quick. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, it's uh, 21 years now. 21 years of Harry Potter. Wow, it's crazy. Whoa, we all like you, be fed. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I, I feel so loved right now. <laughs> Uh, he actually saw my YouTube or, or the, oh, YouTube Red fan made Brick and Tech trailer. I'm kind of shocked. Awesome. That's pretty cool that he saw. Well, here's the thing. His were better than everybody. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. I think if he was in the contest that he would have won. Who? Uh, my red my red mine. Yeah. But, you know, Sacred's bricks were awesome. But that's my, I guess, opinion. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, Brick Worlds was born in... Uh, spooky month? <laughs> you said spooky <laughs> month. <laughs> it was a spooky month. <laughs> no, but yeah, spooky month, definitely. Uh, two days before the spooky day. So yeah. See, so, yeah, I'm going to eat a body pillow in like an hour. <laughs> eat a body pillow? What? 
okay, <laughs> or he says ETA. <laughs> I'm not ETA body pillow. <laughs> Eat a body pillow? That does not sound good. You know, here's the thing about body pillows: you're not supposed to eat them. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Yes, 21 years now. As it is 31 July 1997. When? Oh wow, that, that's crazy. Oh, the first book. Okay. Not- <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at the chat. Look at what Red Brick Studio said. Dang. How do you know? What? How do you know what a body pillow is? You're like 11. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> you proved him right, man. So, <laughs> uh, 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 poopy. No, no. That sounds wrong. I know. I read it that way, though, because that's how you said it. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's try and do a drop test on this. Uh, I don't know. Should I do it right here? If you want to, um, I think it's gonna break about halfway in the thing. All right, I'm gonna do it from seven feet up in the air. So we'll see how well. Oh, you're gonna probably break way worse. Okay. Ready, guys. Be ready for a loud noise. Hopefully, nothing breaks. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, yours broke way better than mine. Did. A better, I guess. Not as bad. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem that way. I think it's an easy put back together. Uh, it doesn't seem like anything's broken. I don't think. Yeah. Except for you know these parts are off. So yeah, it's cool. So there you go. Live drop test for you guys on this little set. <laughs> Now you can name the stream Gone Wrong, you know? <laughs> Gone Wrong with BFAB and MNR. Jeez. Did Ryan get back to you or no? Yeah, he's getting Chick fil A. He'll be here hopefully soon. Be that note ended the stream. End the... Oh, sweet. So he asked me if he I wanted. Me... Oh, now there's like, now echo. there's like echo. There is? Oh, you can't hear me. Oh, you can't hear me talk. Test, test. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. I'll put, it, I'll put in some headphones. I'll put some headphones in too. Let's see if it changes. Let's see if it changes. If I can hear my, beautiful, can hear my voice. beautiful voice. It sounds a little weird. Everyone, do you hear a echo potentially? Okay, let's see. Okay, I don't hear myself anymore. Okay, great. So hopefully it's fixed now because I put my headphones in. So that hopefully fixed it all. This mind of mine is here. Welcome you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Seven feet, the roof falls off. No, uh, it's because I'm I'm six foot uh, six foot two, and you know my wingspan is you know seven feet, and you know just one arm's three feet. Never mind, it's not three feet. What do I think? About it? Uh, you know, it, actually, it was probably eight feet in the air. I, I dropped it from eight feet. So yeah, Woza. I'm not trying to show off from how far I can reach, but <laughs> <laughs> read a comment and I had to make it more specific. <laughs> Happy like five or something <laughs> birthdays. Happy <laughs> five. Oh my god! I swear to God, what? Ten out of ten. Awesome. Uh, we trust you. <laughs> we trust. Wait, it's who's the ten out of ten? Uh, my mind. Oh, he he said he's a ten out of ten. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I haven't seen you in my random eye, but you're a ten out of ten. Oh my god. No, just the rod will fall off. No, uh, just the top bit fell off. Oh, and the rod somehow it went down a little bit. So let me correct that. There we go. Rod is now corrected. So that's pretty Pub- interesting. Though. Public announcement: MOG wants you guys to know that he's 20 years old. He told Brick Worlds to tell him, but I'm saying it anyway. Um, there's no proof. We might have to need proof of birth, but for um, as of now, we'll just say you're 20. <laughs> Thank you. Twenty like uh, myself, but hopefully here in a few, or obviously in a few months I'll be uh, twenty-one and I can uh, go out drinking, but I won't because I'm not that. Uh, Gryffindor's tower would uh, have shattered in lots of pieces. I'm not going to drop that one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll drop Harry Potter. Oh no. He's got a scar on his head now. That's oh <laughs> no, never mind. That was already there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what else we got? Even moving it around, he old set 
only breaks at the top. Okay, echo. Okay, hopefully it's gone now because it's three minutes behind. Yeah, it was because once you put in your headphones, uh, the thing stopped, I guess. Yeah. He... Um, Collecting Brick said she's old and short. And the stream is making her feel bad about herself. I mean, 5'2 isn't short for a, a girl, and you're not old. What are you, like, 85? And that? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, 27? That's not old. You know, yeah, that's... that's not old. Uh, everyone, if you're um, <clears throat> making her feel bad, apologize right now. <laughs> I think that, you know, 40, 45 is older. That's not even old. When you say the word old, I picture like a 60 year old that you like, you know, throw off like a, you know, a building or push over, you know, when they're walking down the street and they're walking a little too slow. That's what old is, you know? Yeah, you're still in your, um, your young age, age, young adult age. That's what the word is. <laughs> <laughs> young adult and then you turn into adult and then you turn into an elder adult and then you turn turn old That's now once you're 60 collecting bricks will probably make fun of you if you're still in the community <laughs> like you old person man could you imagine was that 33 years from now would the youtube still be around by then <laughs> it'll be like youtube like hologram type or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah we'd have that like uh Hey, you want to interact with your famous or your favorite YouTubers? Here you go, <laughs> dude. The future is going to be amazing like that. That would be crazy. Uh, well, I mean, it's not going. It's going to be fun and non-fun because uh, I know, yeah, some robots and such, yeah, AI. So and crazy. then also that you know you're getting old. It's always fun to be young because once you're old, you know people look at you and they're like, "Oh, that's that sixty-year-old in the wheelchair. Let's push him over," you know. Yeah, I'd be. Oh, like, oh, you know, please don't push me over. I'll give you my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we won't have to have that at that time you know that'll be in the future the generations are really smart and come up with uh things that could help our um aging process so hopefully that works out maybe, yeah maybe i'll look like 20 when i'm like 90 I mean, look at these guns you know yeah that'll be awesome if uh, we could become like vampires in a way just like live forever and have powers <laughs> but doubtful Doubtful that it will happen because genetics, you know. I don't get drinking because the next day you're going to be thrown up with a headache. Yeah, I don't know why people drink so much. They drink so often. It's, it's really crazy. But uh, for me, I don't think I would ever touch a beer. I have touched ones in the past, and uh, the rest of the night was a blur. So I've never talked about that ever, ever again. Let's see. Uh, I think I found something funnier than 24, 25. Okay. Um, I don't even know this person. Okay, Elena, I wouldn't want to be drinking unless it's soda or juice. I haven't had a soda in a while. It's crazy. John Y Y E is here. Welcome you so much for coming. A young ins compared to me. <laughs> You're all young ins compared to me. Wow. Um, <laughs> then you die. Wow. Thanks. That's, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. YouTube and VR. Yeah, definitely YouTube. YouTubers in VR. LOL, you drink and then <laughs> and then you die. It's kind of true. Drink and drive, that's how you die. Uh, you guys would be so old and bat bald by then. <laughs> brick rolls and beef up from another brick. Uh, then I will feel good about myself. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll, hold up, but I'll, get, I'll get like hair club for men. I know that's oh, Yeah, my, my dad, uh, he's got a good set of hair left or something. So. Hopefully, I'll just be like him because he's 50, and, you know, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, hashtag 3D inside the phone. 3D inside the phone. Uh, let's see, you guys complain about being old, but <laughs> at least you aren't in the same generation of the kids that think Jake Paul is a god and cool people. <laughs> oh, Fair point. That's true. Yeah, I'm glad that I am uh, a generation that is um, – as old as Jake Paul, not really. I'd love to be a part of Team 10, though. Oh, bringing that up, did you know this? I don't know if you know who the Brick Wiz is, right? Yes. Erica Costell yes, commented yes, on that. that. Oh, you know about that? Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, that was crazy. Yeah, that's... Um, I, I don't know if it was actually... It was Erica Costell. I think uh, Brick Wiz's um, theories about uh, one of her editors or something probably did that, so that would make sense because I don't think... Erica Costello would ever do that unless but even being sponsored that's, by good. that's crazy though that's still yeah. amazing, you know? yeah having like a famous youtuber like that like if MNR joins in you know that's that's crazy man 
All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna live forever, bro. Okay, well, that's that's, nope, that's what you're gonna say, but then you're gonna die in two minutes. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, no, you'll live forever. <laughs> MLG Gaming, you are not 20, dude. I'm pretty sure my sister has a lower voice than you. <laughs> I don't know if that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that oh, that way. Okay, <laughs> higher pitch. I was getting it backwards. I don't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I'm uh, Red Brick's sister. <laughs> God, that would be crazy. <laughs> sister have a height. Then you might be worried if she was a girl or a guy. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Your parents never told you. <laughs> uh, that is the funniest thing you've ever said, b -Fab. When I think of an old person, I think of 60-year-old getting tripped over in a wheelchair. <laughs> getting tripped over in a wheelchair. <laughs> I, I did not catch that when he said that. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, why were you homeschooled? I was homeschooled because my parents did not want me to go to middle school where the school was bad and such, like really bad. And uh, you know, I grew up in uh, to a um. Uh, actually, I was about to say something that probably would have been weird, but I grew up well. I, I grew up better than they expected. So, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to explain it. Never mind. <laughs> Let's just drop it. Ill who dabs anymore? That's so twenty something. Yeah, man, I never dabbed. Like, it's so weird. Like, it's so cringy when you would dab like that. I'm in copy. Okay, don't know what this. Um. Ooh, message was deleted. Okay, thank you for deleting that message. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, sorry about the cussing. I don't really. Oh, uh, oh, you're cussing there. Okay. Okay, everyone just uh, just be friendly in the chat. All right, seems like we caught up with the chat. That's amazing. I legit dab once a day. That's crazy, man. All right, so all caught up. That is amazing. And we have 11 people currently watching and 14 likes. I really appreciate that, everyone. It means a lot. Hopefully, we can have MNR Productions in here soon. Um, I don't know how long it takes to get to filet, but <laughs> he'll be here soon, hopefully. And. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll just keep going from there. I don't know if I'm gonna continue building the set um, because well, I'd rather talk to you guys and talk to BFEB. So, any more um, interesting things that we should talk about? Uh, anything going on in the community that you guys want us to talk about? Really, at the moment, uh, we pretty drama. much covered. What's up? Drama. Drama. What drama? <laughs> I'm, what? Just, I'm just kidding around. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a drama right now, okay? <laughs> Chifile is lit. Yeah, definitely. I, I was watching um uh what was it uh Bricks and Pieces the other day or yesterday actually. Uh and David Hall, he um he said he had like the same exact story as uh Ryan MNR Productions of going to Chifile and he uh met a fan there. Like it was exactly the same situation in a way. However, it was just a little different because um of how they responded to it in, in a sense. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, meet, meeting a fan at uh, Chifile like that, Chifile is the way to go to meet someone that, you know, potentially watches your channel. And especially in town like that uh, is pretty crazy. Let's see, I'm sorry, bro. I just am not going to deal with Red Brick Studios. Like, okay, yeah, I understand that. That's okay. Um, just let's, let's stop talking. Uh, uh, let's talk. Let's stop talking bad about each other, okay? Starting drama. Okay. Stop drama. Uh, me and Red Brick Studios are about to have drama with me. Um, I grew up where people were normal and shocked by technology until fourth grade. People started doing the whip musically. And in uh, fifth musically, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, when I was growing up in elementary school, we only had flip phones. And then we moved into um a like uh what was it um blackberry stage and then we got iphones uh i think at sixth grade i think everyone was starting to get iphones or not everyone but uh you know iphones were a thing back in sixth grade so i had uh school for six years without a iphone which is crazy and actually i did not have an iphone until i was in eighth grade but still it was uh, pretty crazy at that time uh we were back in the stone age you could say <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
I went to Walmart and got the city logging tractor and got my five-year-old cousin a junior's Ninjago set for thirteen dollars. Awesome, man! That's pretty cool. Uh, one set that's going for thirteen dollars right now that I probably want to get is the Ninjago City Chase. I think that oh, is really? a yeah. I think that's a oh, pretty. Oh, that's your vlog. I swear you. Po- oh, did Ryan post that as vlog? No, you did. I think I, I posted mine, uh, and then I don't know if he. Uh, looked at it in his video, but um, you know we had kind of the same videos in a sense, uh, except for his was you know more interesting because <laughs> it's a bigger channel and such. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. And by the way, MLG Gaming, you were the one who started. Okay, All right, so let's just stop the job then. Uh, MLG and Red Brick Studios. Um, what do you think about the UPS Hogwarts? <laughs> UPS Hogwarts. UPS Hogwarts. <laughs> Is it like going to be delivered by UPS? <laughs> I, I think you meant like the UCS, even though I think that would be. Oh, did someone like, say that? Hogwarts. Yeah, that was Red Brick Studio. He's basically asking about the. Uh, uh, okay. Figure. I just came in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I I like it, but I'm not too um, sure about purchasing it right away. Uh, Bfab has a different opinion about that. He wants to push everyone out of the way to get it. <laughs> Let's see, uh, you youngsters think you're so old saying back in my day we had flip phones. Well, guess what? Brick phones, portable phones didn't exist in your parents' day. Actually, my dad uh, in school, he had um, that one big phone that barely fit in your pocket. <laughs> he had that phone back in his day. It was crazy. I wish he kept it because, you know, you know that's, that's history there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, I remember only the cool kids had BlackBerry phones. They were cringy. <laughs> yeah, I hated my BlackBerry phone. It was so stupid. Like, I remember when Blackberries were like, I think like 120 bucks or whatever. Yeah, phones were so cheap back then, and now they're $1,000 for a phone. <laughs> and, well, you know, obviously, this is why. I mean, there, there's someone nicer. Like, here's the thing. My phone, I dropped it. I need to get this fixed or just upgrade to the G7. I got this phone about... Four months ago, I think, and yeah. I dropped it once, and the the screen is like demolished right now. I'm luckily have insurance, but I need to get that fixed stuff. But it's like this phone was the retail value when I got it was eight hundred dollars or eight hundred and something. Yeah. So I love the fingerprint reader. I think that's cool. You know, thinking about that, you know, the technology and everything. The camera is very good, but like if you just think of how far phones have advanced, like give it another ten years, it'll be like. And we're gonna. I don't even know what to say. They're just gonna. It'd be, be our palm by like then. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? How you probably got a chip in your arm. I'll just like show up. You know, you plan. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you display. Uh, whatever, or you know, whatever they would call it. Like they they would call it something. Display on the HUD. <laughs> when you're just walking around, displaying the HUD. Like it might be a, a glass thing too. A eye glass thing that you look out and you know you'll see the contents and such. Be so scary i mean yeah that would be really interesting <laughs> it's cool just to think about it because you know i remember being in seventh and eighth grade where that you know drones weren't something they used for video now like every yeah. person has a drone for a video and they're not even that expensive you know so yeah. you know drones were for military not for you know yeah <laughs> not for yeah. New video that was crazy that it, it was first for the military and then they were like um, starting to come up with private companies that develop these small little dro- drones, and they just became a wide uh, phenomenon around the world. So it's pretty cool. I hope to get one one day, but uh, at the moment, uh, I don't know if I can fit the budget in for that because I want to get the best on the market because I don't want a stupid little drone that can easily just be picked up by the wind and just break so easily. So I want a drone that can hover in the wind and survive the wind. And yeah. You're going to have to spend at least 800 bucks probably. I, I, mean, I think there's like one with twelve hundred. You get tons of stuff for the twelve hundred one. Yeah. So I'm looking at that one, but uh, yeah, not right now. Let's see, Brawl Brick Worlds. Can you ban Red Brick Studios? No, he's a good guy. Just Red Brick, stop taunting him or egging him on. Such, like, please. UPS is sponsoring Harry Potter now. <laughs> yeah. Well, UPS. Uh, if you know, if you're a long fan of the channel, I worked for UPS and I like the company. It was really awesome time. Let's see. You mean a rotary phone? <laughs> rotary phone? No, no, that's that's totally different. A rotary phone is uh, like a landline. Uh, his was a little different. Uh, you know, it, it had the buttons, 
It wasn't anything like a, a rotary phone. Let's see, is the one that you asked us to stop talking about? Oh, God, dude. Chronicles of AJ. I don't know if you um, just came, but welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Phones were cheap back then. Yes, definitely. Very cheap. Uh, but I don't think the phone plans were. I think uh, phone plans were pretty expensive. And nowadays we have unlimited data, unlimited texting and call. So it's so much better nowadays. And uh, or I guess, you know, phones are more expensive, but the um, the plans are better. Plans are definitely yeah, like, better. Uh, like 50, 60 bucks for unlimited or whatever. Yeah, for me, I pay $28 a month for uh, my phone and uh, stuff. So it's it's really awesome. See, my first phone was a Razer. Yeah, I think I had a Razer. Like I had a flip phone, one of the worst flip phones, and then a Razer flip phone, and then a BlackBerry, and then a iPhone 4S, or not 4S, iPhone 4, and then now my awesome, awesome little phone here. Let's see, see ya. Oh, you're leaving? Okay, see you, man. Thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Uh, Hello, drones are extremely pricey. The cheapest ones with video go for 200 plus dollars. Yeah, definitely. Things are just way out of out of proportion right now. There is no need to leave. Yeah, there's no need to leave. Just stay, man. A HUD phone, that'll be scary to have something from a sci-fi film to become a reality. Yeah, but it'll be pretty cool unless, um, you know, something's happen bad out of it like uh if you have potentially uh, the um uh what's it called uh I forget what's called uh contacts like you know a contact lens that uh has the hud in it or something and then that would be pretty scary because you don't know what the uh, contacts would actually uh cause on your eye because i think actual contacts can cause problems to your eye like if you um put it in wrong or something but you know that that's something that people would know if they had contacts so you are the only one he is bothering. Just block it. Oh, geez. Come on, guys. Just be friends, please. Why can't we be friends? Oh, Brick Vibe is here. Welcome, Brick Vibe. This is the first time I've seen you in my chat. Brick Vibe is awesome. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, you asked what's up. Uh, everything's pretty good right now. How about yourself? Uh, I was in Costco the other day playing with my yo-yo, and some 50-year-old <laughs> was like, whoa, I haven't seen a kid with a yo-yo in years. I feel kind of embarrassed. <laughs> Jeez, man. It would be fr funny if there was like an app for that, <laughs> playing a yo-yo on the phone now. like It's kind of crazy. Some of these apps are just like not necessary at all. But uh, yeah. See, I'm not bothering. Okay. Ryan's here. He's asking where the invite is. Uh, I send it to your MNR vlogs account. Hopefully, you have access to that. If not, um, I'll I'll get your other email here in a minute. Work worlds. Um, I recommend you don't have to, but I'm gonna type who I think you should also invite. You don't have to, but okay. I think you'd be, I think you'd be really cool with you know talking to this guy if he wants to join. Well, yeah, if he wants to join. Uh, not sure if he's still here. I don't know when the comment was in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it looks like he's still here. Brick Vibe, if you want to invite, Brick Worlds will invite you. Yeah, just let me know. I mean, he's really cool. He's super down to earth, so that's why. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it'll be fine. Uh, invite him in. It'd be awesome to talk to him. Uh, it was yeah, the mobile. But I don't see it. That's what he says. So. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I have an idea. Let me, um, let me try and copy the link. I don't know if I can or not. Um, here, you keep up with the chat. I'm going to try and figure out where I can invite him. Oh, God. Okay. Where is it? I got um, email. <laughs> Brick Vibe goes, I'm so cool, I'm frozen. <laughs> Let me just go to his YouTube. It's probably there, his email. I think I can add people. Let's see. I, I could add people to your thing. Yeah, I just didn't have the right account. Oh, here we go. I don't know if this okay, is... Yeah, well, I said you added... Let's see. I will send add Brick Vibe to your thing. Because I don't know if you know his email. Oh, it's the same one. It's still MNR Vlogs. What? Yeah, let me see if I can invite him from his main account. Mandar. Mandar. Let's 
see. If it's Mandar Prod, then that's the same one that I just invited. Uh, I okay. Let's see. I think. Uh, let's see if I can add that. When we use to communicate through AOL or. MSN. Okay, I think I added. I added Ryan's other. Okay. Account. It might be his main one, but. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the uh, the main one. But um, I tried looking it up before it wasn't working. So, hopefully, okay. I can um like add him as a friend or something. Add Brick Vibe too. No, that doesn't work. Okay, let me uh, catch up. Yes, please, just block each other. Oh my god, guys, I'm not arguing, man. Okay, guys, just uh, please chill out. Let's just talk about some legal topics. I will come up with something here in a second. Uh, let's see, I honestly prefer <laughs> talking in person. Right. Brick Vibe, what's your email again? Sorry, I'm cutting you off. Okay. I literally added it to what I thought it was, and um, it ended up being it said I added Brick Vibe blank at gmail dot com. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to say that. Let's see, Let's see. Oh, Brick by Brick is here. Welcome, thank you so much for coming, Brick by Brick. Uh, later this evening, I will um, send you a message about uh, our little deals and such. Uh, oh so shoot! Uh, I, I gotta forget. I f totally forgot about that. Um, I'm gonna put some money in my account tomorrow, and then I'll also work on the deal with you. Oh yeah, no problem, man. No rush. No <laughs> rush. I honestly forgot about it. I'm like, oh. no, it's okay. Uh, thank you, my red mind. Awesome, Bfab. Can you send me an invite? Yeah, we'll, we'll get that figured out. Uh, actually, I can go to your account and see if it's like that same one, that same e email attached to um your your account itself. It should be here. Like it's usually there. Like I should be able to send you a message. Okay, there's no message <laughs> attached to this. Uh, I guess YouTube updated. Oh, um, I hate that YouTube did that, you know? Yeah, because there was usually a message bar right next to the block user report channel art report channel icon. <laughs> But now that's gone, so yeah, I can't do that now. Okay. Well, I think that's ridiculous. I mean, let's say you want a giveaway. I mean, you don't want to give out your... Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, let's see. Um, let me try to add that here. Um, that's what I tried before. Maybe I did the the uppercase or whatever thing wrong. Um, yeah. M and R, if you can send me your email address that uh, you I commented used. it in the thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I think you might have added that one already, but okay. So I said that I did. I typed in. Oh, totally. I can't even spell the word Gmail. <laughs> yeah, my uh, M and R Productions. That's the same one that I sent in twice. Here, uh, let's see. Um, Brick Worlds. Uh, here, I'm going to give you Brick Vibes email. Um, if you could invite him from there, but I can't add him for some. I guess I already added him to it, but I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Um, here, let's see. I'm gonna open up this tab, this tab, this tab, and this tab. Okay. Um, shoot. Oh, my, I'm still getting used to my. Why do you have like ten tabs open? I always ask. Like, <laughs> why I keep doing that. So, um, if you could add him from here, I tried to add Brickvibe from there. Here's his email. All right. Uh, I'm just typing in Ryan's right now. I don't know if I could copy the link and send it to him. Would that work? Um, do that, but um, I don't, don't want uh, everyone. To no, no, not no, not in public. No, um, oh. like. Okay, so that's where you sent it. I'm gonna try and copy that. Copy email address. Oops, I just turned off my camera. All right, so we'll see if that works. Hopefully, I don't know. I'll I'll, me I'll private message them through Instagram, or I'll just like, you know, see if that would help out if it makes it easier. Them, I copied the link. Oh, Brick Vibe is here. What's going on, Brick awesome. Vibe? Welcome. What's up? Nothing much. I see the link worked or whatever worked. Out. <laughs> whatever you did that time worked. Awesome. So. Great. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully Ryan can get in now. Um, we kind of send it to the same two that um. Did not work, I guess. He sent me another one, so let me try and use that one as well. 
They need to make Hangouts, you know, less complicated. That would be really awesome. Yeah. I don't think they're going to change Hangouts at all. I thought they yeah. were, were going to get rid of Hangouts and go with um, iOS or something. Or not iOS. Uh, what was it? Um, Chrome OS? Uh, OPS. OBS. OBS. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they basically discontinued support for Hangouts and spun it out into two other products. And I think this just exists because it's integrated with YouTube. Yeah. And that's the only reason why it still works. Yeah. 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 It's too bad the other uh, streaming devices aren't like the our operating systems aren't easier to um, kind of set up. Some some are pretty simple, but um, others just like are difficult to add people like this and uh, have a good chat with everyone instead of it going through a different. Uh, like so I'm sorry, I tried to up. send uh, Ryan the link through the you know the hangout thing. I mean through Instagram. Um, I just copied the link I had, so I don't know if that really changes anything or if it'll take them to an empty hangout. Yeah. So Ryan, if you're on Instagram, check and see if that link works. You know, I could probably just send him an email. So let me try and do that. Um, so, um, Brick Vibe, I, I was kind of on and off on your stream or watching it. Um, did you, um, did you like piece the the Hedwig set thing together, or did you buy it or whatever? No, I mean, I, I mean, I got the instructions and I um, took all the parts out of the store. Oh, nice! That's awesome. So now you know what you could do, Brick Vibe. You could start piecing a bunch together and selling them out of your store. You know? Um, yeah, I mean, I've had several people say that. The problem is, is the instructions I have, like I built it and I got to, I got the books done, but the instructions with LDD, mm -hmm. it's just so hard to build the, to build the bird. It's, I don't know if people have a very good experience with it. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you end up selling some on your store, if you like have the ability, I know you said it's difficult to build a bird, just let me know. So that, you know. I mean, I'm interested. I don't really want to pay 500 bucks, though. So, yeah. I mean, the part the parts in my store were somewhere between like 130 and 150. Like, I had mm -hmm. to dig some out that we didn't have, um, and then one of the colors I had to substitute just because I didn't have them. But if I was going to make like 10 or 15 of them, I'd probably sell it for like 150 ish, probably. Maybe I have to figure out how much time it consuming it is. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I just don't know how. Like, I guess they had the target event and people just randomly got them. Is that kind of what happened? I guess. <clears throat> well, each one was supposed to give it away, and each target get or the targets did it a few different ways. The target I went to, um, put there was a special gold sticker on the back of a the coloring poster, mm -hmm. and if you got the poster that had the gold sticker, you won the the Hedwig. Um, a friend of mine went to a Target and the sticker was on the Hogwarts acceptance letter because they also gave you an acceptance letter. So if you got that acceptance letter, you won the Hedwig. Um, I heard a couple other Targets raffled them off. Like, I guess they collected names and then waited until the end of the event and drew names. Mm. And then some of them just didn't give them away because they didn't want to or didn't realize <laughs> they were supposed to. Uh -oh. I heard somebody went in and like they said, it was a Lego set, and they, they could buy it in the in the in the toy department. Wow! Oh no, <laughs> that's crazy. One thing I thought was amazing is so I I think they gave out or they had they made like two thousand of them, and there's roughly like I looked it up, I can't remember, like seventeen hundred Target stores, and out of all of that, like six people said that they won them. That followed me on Instagram. That that's crazy. And yeah, and you have a lot of followers, so you think there'd be more. Well, I thought there. I, mean, I think <laughs> there'd be more. Man. I was thinking there'd be less. I was surprised there were that many. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Like seriously, six. That's amazing. Because I mean, I, mean, I have almost twenty. It's like nineteen thousand, almost twenty thousand subscribers. But I mean, what are the possibilities of out of the thousands and thousands of people? I mean, if they gave away almost two thousand of them, I mean, only nineteen. Oh. You know, less than two thousand of them won one, and that they would follow me on Instagram was kind of crazy. Yeah, and I didn't fact well, check it. Like, if they said they won it, I believed them. Other than the first one that told me that, I asked him if he could send me pictures from all angles because I wanted to try to build it. 
<laughs> and he did. So I would say I'm not surprised because like I'm like the people that follow you are the people that would actually go to one of these events and know about it. So that's true. I mean, I guess I did post about the event. I think I posted about the event too. So I mean, maybe it caused some people to go. Yeah. And welcome, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Hello welcome. There. Glad that you were able to make it in. Was it the email? Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. I missed your stream, Ryan. You literally ended it like 15 minutes before I got out of the dentist's office. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, I got home 19 I seconds that. after. That was so close. <laughs> Let's see. Funny how Brick Bob, your photo of that bird or whatever is posted in front of the worst water ever. I don't know. I just had to say that. The target water is garbage. I'm sorry if anybody likes them. <laughs> and that's just how, where it was sitting at in front of the store. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I was excited. It's, it's like bad water. But yeah, that, that's such a cool looking model. Like, wow. I yeah, wish yeah, it was yeah. bigger, but I mean, I think it's a fine model. I can't believe somebody paid a thousand dollars for one on eBay. <laughs> They're gonna be regretting that in like yeah a week <laughs> when more on the market. No Definitely. way. Well, I mean, I think it's going to always be around $500, but I know there's one for 500 on eBay that I looked earlier once you guys mentioned it or whatever. And I was surprised it was even that, you know, expensive. But, you know, people are just going to start piecing them together. That's the thing about having, like, no, like, rare pieces, you know? It's really easy to do. Yeah. And that's why, like, when people were buying, no offense to you, Ryan, I heard what you said about the San Diego Comic-Con thing. I don't know why people buy the ones without the exclusive prints or whatever. But I don't. I don't know the if. Well, unless the Star Wars cockpit one, you know, has you know exclusive prints. You know, I it's know. the box, really. Like I can, like I know I could piece one together, but it's not as cool if you don't have the box. Fair mm. point. Fair point. So. So, I don't know how much those are going for. Like what? One twenty-five, one fifty. I got mine for like one hundred five. So. Oh dang! Okay, that's a good deal. I mean, I still but. regret the whole Black Lightning purchase, like, especially hearing how much Brick Vibe paid for it. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. The next day, well, yesterday I went on there and I found one for 120. And I'm like, I immediately regretted it because, okay, the thing was selling for 200. You, do you, hold on. Do you have the ability, like, are returns accepted for this? No, there isn't. I wanted to do that actually because, you know, even so, it went from 200. The guy was selling for 200, which was the cheapest. I made an offer for 150, counted at 170. You know, I'm like, okay, I'll accept it. That's a great deal. I was freaking out of like, and eBay had a coupon the next day for $25 off. I used that. It was $145. And then, you know, the guy didn't even ship it till I think it was yesterday. And uh, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. But I understand, you know, he was probably at Comic-Con. Um, but it's like $145. And then, like, going yesterday and seeing him going for $120, I'm like, no. I was about to make a video saying, you know, I got how I saved, you know, a certain amount of money on this Comic-Con minifig. But I always – Really good deals on the Comic Con mini things. This is the first time I've got a horrible deal on it. So, you know, it's not like I pay like two, three hundred for it, which I'm glad I didn't. I know somebody bought one for like two fifty that sold on eBay. So it was like two thirty, I think. I don't know. But it's like uh, I immediately regretted it, but I will have it by tomorrow. Um, so I want to do a review of that really soon. I don't see any reviews on, you know, YouTube currently. So as long as you're like the first like two people, first like five people, whatever, you know, you should be good. So that's kind of what I'm excited about. So hopefully get some. Hey. Hopefully I can make back some money. <laughs> and add sense. Just watch it get like 10 views. Maybe I'll get my share of Deadpool tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, you are going to get your Deadpool tomorrow? That's awesome. Oh, I don't know. I just, I said, maybe. oh, you should be right. So, oh. How much did that cost you, Ryan? Or what? You don't have to say how much. Like about how much? Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, you don't. Say, sorry. I know people don't like saying how much they pay for stuff sometimes. So. They're really I'll expensive. I was trying to find like the cheapest one, but uh, it's just like always around two hundred in a way. I saw one yeah. for like two eighty, and I was like, "Should I buy it? Should I not?" I'm like, no. "It's not really a you know." An amazing. I paid less than that. Yeah, like I was about to say, two hundred. Like I've seen two hundred ones. Like right now, there's a bid two hundred and two. Well, that's a bid. It's gonna go up. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Look, at, look at what's sold or what's buy it now. One twenty five, two hundred five. Yeah. I wish so you spent you spent how or 
Um, hang on. So I just got. I mean, like, it's so funny that you're talking about this because I literally just closed the deal <clears throat> on all three of the Comic Con minifigures, even though Ooh, I already yeah. bought Black Lightning. What would be a What would be a good price for all three? All three. I'd say about six hundred. I think it, I think that'd be good. I don't know. I, I'd say like. 500 because if the black lightning is like 100 usually 120 and uh, deadpool's 220 range are you only seeing 220 it's not 220 i was seeing like 280 and up i don't know where you saw yeah, 220. this one's about to sell for 230 so that's it is cool. not it'll it'll go up really end. fast <laughs> yeah that's the thing about betting it's not <laughs> then like another apocalypse for uni kitty i didn't see what she was going for Okay, I'm probably going for 70 100, 100 and, I mean, I, I didn't look, but I mean, I, I just got all three, but um, I'd say it's probably 100, 120, something like that. And then. Are you looking at the one that ends in 40 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's not about to sell for 230. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God. About. And then it's $20 shipping. It's already 250. Come yeah, on, I didn't notice that until I just looked down. Oh, I thought that okay. said. All right, so I bought all three just now for 365. Wait, yeah, what? Wait, what? <laughs> you said all I just of them? bought all three for 365. Wow. How the heck does that happen? On eBay or Bricklink or through somebody else? Somebody else. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to say, and that's just still an amazing deal. Like, that's crazy. But now I've got two Black Lightning, so I've got to sell the other Black Lightning. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome, man. And I have a feeling, I'm just going to say this, you don't have to say anything about it, but I'm guessing you got it through Minifig Dreams. Uh-uh. Okay. I know oh, he how much does he want for those guy. battle packs that he just got? I want them. I'm going to make the same offer to that guy. We'll see if he accepts it. I doubt it, but 375 that's amazing. I kept making offers for a Deadpool Minifig or whatever for 150 to everybody. I keep getting rejected, so. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a little really low. That's really peculiar. Yeah, you know, but some people, which I've realized with the, you know, like, example, for the San Diego Comic-Con collector, average is going for about 400 and I got it for, like, 200 and something. Like no, there's no reason not to throw your offer out there. You never know. Yeah, but, you know, I don't know. I want to get some more of the Comic-Con minifigs. I regret not being able to get the Arsenal, but I know about six months ago I saw two Arsenals for 250 it was. So that was a really good deal. I regret that. I need to buy the... <laughs> I need to start looking for the older Comic Con minifigs. I mean, you know, Spider Woman and that other Spider Man, those go for so much, like two grand or more. So I mean, you can find them for two grand. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of want that Spider Woman, but I'm not willing to pay over two grand for a, a minifig. There's no <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Now, you know, also, if anybody knows on how to get a cheaper. Any old Comic Con Spider Man brickheads. I'm working on trying to get one of those for. I want to pay like 400 bucks for that. I'm trying to see if I can find one for around 200. So I got to keep. I totally <laughs> lucked out on mine. <laughs> I know you said you got all of them before, or whatever. Well, I bought I bought the first four right when it happened, and I feel like I paid between 80 and 100 for the first four. Dang. <laughs> and then the next two, and the. Is there only how many is there? Three. There's two San Diego Comic Cons the second year, and one New York Toy Fair. Or is there two New York Toy Fairs? Uh, there might be. I think there's the one with the Bubba Fett and the Hansel and Carbonite. Right. There's that one. That's the only one I can think of. And yeah. then the other two are Spider Man and Venom and Martian Manhunter and Supergirl. Mm-hmm. So I got yeah. all three of those. I I feel like I didn't pay more than a hundred dollars for each of those two, but I cannot remember. Cause I bought a ton, like I bought like a ton of stuff, and I got those also. That's awesome. You know what I think is crazy is people selling that Jessica Cruz Green Lantern that was given out at San Diego Comic Con. Uh-huh. It's out in the, I think the DVD that it's in has been released now too, and the DVD costs less than twenty bucks, and people <laughs> are selling it for twenty bucks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, now that's crazy. I mean, you can just wait. You know, it's like, I mean, let's see. I don't know if it's uh, DVD is out now or it's going to be out really soon. But you, you know, that is kind of ridiculous that people. I are, think it came. Hey. I think it came out on Tuesday. Oh really? Yeah. 
I totally want this Superman 80 years Lego thing from Comic Con, but the guy wants twenty dollars for it, twenty five dollars for it. Wow. Well, thank you, It's Bricks, for the two dollar donation. Really appreciate it. And uh, your question, I am doing pretty good right now. How about yourself? Oh, it actually got released. The movie got released three days ago. So it's really, I don't know why people are buying it. Then that's kind of. Oh, weird. was it three days ago? Yep. Okay. Yep. That's weird. So. All these San Diego Comic Con stuff, like I wish they weren't so expensive. They're so cool, and it's awesome to say you have them. But you know, it's like uh, all the money I have to pay. Yeah, they're expensive. This is the first time I ever bought one, so I was like, I'll splurge a little, see what's up. I really like the figure, so that's kind of where I'm at on it. If you really like something, get it. Why not? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I think once I get the Black Lightning that arrives tomorrow, hopefully, if you know if tracking is right. I will have five San Diego Comic Con minifigs. So I'm pretty happy about that. Which ones do you have? I have the Collector, Deadpool, Duck, Adam, and Vixen. So I have Adam and Vixen. Mm-hmm. Who's the other one? <laughs> Did Adam and Vic, Adam who came out the year Adam came out? Um, uh, it was Captain America. Oh, sorry, Captain America. Oh, Captain America. Hi, yeah, because I have that one. Hi, one second, guys. Yeah. Gonna be okay. Yeah. Let's see, good. I just got released from physical therapy, and my arm is healed, so I'm happy. Awesome, glad it's healed. Let's see, half were lucky, half were. Wait, so you really have 60 police officers at your store? <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's like that. Do you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's weird with the light off my microphone turned off, so that's kind of strange. Okay. No, MOG, you didn't do anything wrong. Right now we just have four people on the panel, so not this moment. Different stream. I will comment you did something wrong just so he feels a little better. I was kidding. Feels better from that. Wow. <laughs> Feels all way six worse. Six police officers. So did you pick up all six uh, brick by brick? Yeah, I thought I saw 60. But, uh, wow. So here's a guy that has Black Lightning listed for $100 or best offer. Uh, beef had thrown an offer and you can make a Black Lightning <laughs> army. <laughs> oh I'm already feeling way worse. I appreciate this, Brickle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine, Dobbs. You know what? Um, I actually might make an offer for that, and maybe I'll two. Maybe I'll do one for a giveaway. Maybe I'll do. One. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, a lot of them are going for really cheap. That's. That, that's your Jason. <laughs> I hate Eight my life. Left. <laughs> the thing is, is, people price them high in the beginning, and then it goes down. And then kind of goes back up because people are yeah. like, "Oh, I'm not selling it," but they price mm -hmm. it high at the beginning because you have that early adopter tax. You have to. Yeah. Trying to find the one that you said was a hundred or best offer. There's a lot of them going for a hundred. I. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna make the the video is gonna be called my my worst mistake. I don't know. This is gonna be let's see. I'm not only seeing bidding under a hundred. I'm not saying honey. Let me see if I can still there. I oh, wish yeah. the guy had returns. That would be awesome. I'd probably return her. May I just say I never got it? No, I'm just kidding. I never would do that. That'd be scummy. How could that happen? Oh wait, that's a bid. But I guess yeah, I can make an offer. But I think he would rather it go up. So I don't think um. <clears throat> For less, make an it offer. Says, so the guy that I, I just found it—it's a hundred dollars. You can bid, but you can also make an offer. Yeah, I mean, he probably wants more than a hundred, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I made an offer ninety. We'll see if he accepts it. Let's see, will you ever make Teespring's merch? I don't know. Uh, I'm not really into um, selling merch like that, but. I guess YouTube is making some updates to have Teespring be a part of YouTube channels or something. I don't know the specifics about that, but I just heard something about it. There's so, yeah. a share of Deadpool for 125 or best offer. Oh, really? How are you finding these? 
I'm trying to beat Brick World. Let's see. Let's make it an offer. Man, should I bid? On, should I should I make an offer on that one too? No, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's I mean, it's a competition. That's that's fine. It's a competition. It's. I'm not. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I I've got all three. I'm good now. I'm trying to get the other three sets now. Oh, I see it. Are you kidding me? Make an offer. Oh, well, that's the. It's yeah, he's wanting more. The it's the bidding situation again. I'll just bid 125 because that's amazing, but doubt it. <laughs> I said, BW, what polys are you going to have up for sale? Uh, if you check my um, description, I have everything <laughs> stores. They're all on there. I'm not trying to sell them right now, but you know, I have them on there just in case. Is it the same guy? I'm guessing. What guy? I don't know. I'm on my phone. Oh, so. oh okay. And then Apocalypse for Uni Kitty, I want to get too, but I'm worried that I'm just going to get it. It's going to have a different facial expression from the other ones that, you know, are probably released. Hmm. Probably. But, it, you know, it's still kind of worth it, I guess. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to make all these offers and just watch me win all of them. <laughs> You'd be broke so quickly. That's why I have my mother. How much do you think the um, Uni Kitty goes for? By itself. I see some starting a bidding at like seventy five, so I guess it's okay. not as in demand. The lowest, the lowest buy it now for Deadpool right now is still more than I paid for it. So wow, nice. Ryan, you having fun? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you having fun over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding around. I'm just hoping that you know, if you know tracking is right and it arrives tomorrow, I'm hoping I have a review. Well, actually, shoot, I won't be able to have a review out. I start working. No, maybe I will. I just have to make a really garbage review. Hmm. Let's see. BW merch would be lit. I need to wear a Blue Beetle baseball hat. <laughs> that would be crazy. Well, we'll see how the YouTube thing goes. I, I don't know if they actually are doing that for creators uh, that are small. I, I think it would be bigger channels that would potentially have that option. But um, yeah, we'll see. I need a Deadpool duck. Yeah, I want that too. But. Uh, I got mine for really cheap because I know I, I think I, I forgot what it said I said in the video. I don't want to rewatch my video to remember how much I paid for it. I think I got two thirty and I think eBay had their coupon or whatever. They're like twenty percent off or whatever or fifteen percent off. But I mean I I think I got it for a really good deal. It's a really cool minifig, I guess. Sort my slowest. Wow, <laughs> there's Deadpool Duck going for one dollar and twenty nine cent bid right now. It's probably a custom, right? No, it, it's got four days left, so I wonder if it's going to get up there. But uh, it will. Oh, yeah. Of course, it'll go up there. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but that would be amazing that uh, no one sees it and such because of um, sorting highest to lowest. But uh, doubtful. I mean, I mean, a lot of people. I mean, if that would be that would be surprising. I remember there's a thing where they were selling. The Mamba Stomper from Chima, which I believe is like using an eighty dollars set, and then like the Lion, no, then the Flying Phoenix set, right? Which is like one hundred and twenty. But I think that's like two hundred something dollars, and um, or it was like two hundred bucks or whatever. And they, the person who won the bid, won it for seventeen dollars, and they were both sealed. And I remember I tried to bid on it or whatever, and my card um declined it or whatever. So that was a work. I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but it was miserable. I don't regret that till that day. The Teespring shelf is for everyone. Really? Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, I, don't... Um, I looked into that. I don't have it yet because they're rolling out slowly, but I thought it was like there was there. I, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of floor to that. Yeah. Maybe it is. Uh, maybe it was open to everyone. It's been like a month since I looked at it. I looked at it right when it came out. You, you, whoever said that might be right. Yeah. Well, he's got 33,000 subscribers, so he probably um, has access to it, maybe. Uh, I don't know exactly, because you said that you don't have access, but we'll see. See, Scalador, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. You can start the stream now. Scalador is here. <laughs> Sorry, I've already been going for maybe almost two, two hours, but uh, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for coming. But yeah, as soon as we uh, find out more details about the store, the Teespring store, then uh, I'll think about doing something for my channel. But I don't, I don't know. You know, I'm still a small channel. Let's see. Why do I feel useless and I feel like I'm a phantom to this world? What? Oh, gee, stop that, man. 
There's nothing wrong. It's just at the moment, I'm just having these guys on the panel. <laughs> a different stream that... Uh, Don't worry, I'm on the, I feel useless too. My mother said she wish she would have aborted me, so... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Sorry, I don't know. Oh man, dude. Okay. Um, like mock after my little brick fair adventure is over, I gotta start trying to know in the Lego community. Oh, get known in the Lego community. Okay, cool, man. The less they know, the better, Michael. Uh, it's not that. It's just myself. Okay. I don't know. We had one of those comments before, so I hope you aren't thinking bad thoughts. So please just, just be safe. Be fed no. What about be fed no? That is true. <clears throat> okay. It's crazy that um the the people that I bidded on or made an offer have not rejected it yet. Because usually well, they might they, just get a bunch of offers and it doesn't matter if they reject them or not, they don't really care. To no, that, them. that's what they usually do. Like, if they have a certain price in mind, they'll reject it right away. But uh, these guys are probably thinking over. So that's How the option feature. You can say any any offers less than X. Reject. How long ago did you offer? Uh, probably like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> I'm sure some people aren't on eBay every twenty minutes. Well, if they get an offer for a lot of money like that, that's that's what I do. <laughs> I'd stick it on my phone. Get those offers in. Uh, that's what someone did uh, the other day. Like I sent in two twenty-five for uh, Deadpool Duck, and he rejected it. So I don't know. I thought maybe okay. This got really awkward real fast. We don't have any topics to talk about. Um, I always say wait for coupons. You know, that's kind of um, what I like doing when I get San Diego Comic Con minifigs. You know, or you know. And always make a really stupid offer. I always say that because, I mean, the worst they can say is no, and you can always keep countering, you know? Yeah. What do you? I wasn't listening to you guys before I jumped on, except for a couple of minutes. What did you guys think of the Hogwarts castle? Oh, I love it. It looks awesome, but for me, I don't – I'm going to buy it the first day, I think. But I'm kind of still disappointed that it's not, like, up to scale with, like, the, you know, minifigs. But it, it's amazing. Just looking at it, I was, like, mind blown by how cool it looks. Yeah, I definitely want to build one, and if I can, I want to buy fifty and part amount. Nice. Yeah, I I like them. You know, the exclusive figures that come in the set is pretty cool. But um, at the moment, I think I would watch a review first, and then see how you know someone likes it or something like that. And then uh, eventually, once they come back in order, because they're probably going to go back order right away. So uh, then I'll you know eventually get it. I don't know how that's not like a day one person because I understand you know you said you're gonna see a review first but like for me like anybody who tries to get the set I mean, I'm gonna push them out of their way you know push them out of my way not their... well I guess um, it would be a day one purchase for me if you're gonna push me out of the way so. go all the way to Florida just to buy it yeah well that would make sense you know big uh, Disney spot. when are you coming to Florida VFAB or are you I, it's kind of like an up in the air thing because like literally he just randomly said hey you want to come down and you know, hang out with us, and I'm like, if I get some vacation time, I'll okay. go. <laughs> you know? I told him I didn't want to do it, but I'll still hang out with you if you come. <laughs> Good, so it's not, it's not you, that you don't want to hang out with me. It's you don't want to hang out with him, right? I mean, it's like, as far as I'm concerned, like, he's just a, he's a fan of the channel. That's what it is. Like, I'm, and I just, like, I'm not, I don't, if a fan asks me to go hang out with them, like, that's not, <laughs> that's not how it works. Fair point, fair point. Who is it? Well, Ryan, I'm a fan too, so I guess I can't hang out with you anymore. Sorry. Who's asking to hang out with you? Uh, yeah, somebody who, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like when I was in Florida, like, oh, Ryan okay. was I don't know. to hang out with me. Yeah, for sure. Let's see, are you going to get a, any Unikitty CMS? I don't know. I'd are they to, out of Target know. yet? I know somebody made an Instagram post. Uh, showing that there were, you know, some of the sets, and I was gonna go to Target today, but you know, my mother was some complaining target, about how she was. Some targets are starting to get the August stuff, so like I saw today, um, it's worth uh, a call, I guess. Um, not all targets have them by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, maybe in the next few days, 
We'll see. Maybe I should go now. Maybe I should leave for like 15 minutes and come back. Um, you should just wait. Just wait. I would just weekend. call it. Well, they all t- they don't have them out on the shelves because Target is doing a reset of their toys, and this is what the, the guy I talked to explained all this to me, which was fascinating. <laughs> um, they're basically they're resetting all their toy aisles, so like the stuff's gonna sit in the back. And I think most targets are resetting the Lego aisle on or by July 29th. Mm-hmm. So that's when the new stuff would be put out. Yeah. Yeah, and that makes sense. Um, the, the thing is that, yeah, you, yeah you're you right about that. I don't even know what I was trying to get to. As somebody who worked at Target, you are correct about that. So, that's why I got fired. I mean, there, I mean, there's a chance they get put out on the shelf, but like... The guy I talked to, he's like, yeah, we have five pallets of toys in the back, and we're not putting them these particular ones out onto the shelf until this date. And, like, so it may be a case-by-case basis, but... Um, I think that um, maybe I should just go there soon. I mean, I don't have a lot of time. This is, like, I get Mondays and Wednesdays off between both jobs. But, um, yeah. you know, maybe I'll... I don't know. I'll try to make it into some other time to try to pick up some clearance or whatever. Because, I mean... I really haven't seen clearance in years or good clearance, you know? <laughs> I've seen sales for, like, 20% off. But, I mean, like, clearance, I haven't seen any of it. So maybe I'll just try to see if I can find some. So Walmart oh, right now uh, down here has better clearance than Target. So I check Walmart first if your Walmart and Target are close together. I'm, like, 20 minutes away from a Walmart. I'm, like, three minutes oh. away from Target. So. Okay, so never mind. Do what's yeah. best. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know why Walmart's so far from me. Yeah, but it's pretty strange. Don't you live close to the big mall? Uh yeah, yeah. So why wouldn't it be well, this by drive? That's by highway. That's the thing. So yeah, I mean, you know, there is a Walmart like I don't know, like five minutes away from all of America, but it's in a okay. different direction, and it's not in a good area. So. <laughs> to be expected for a Walmart. Uh, let's see. I'm coming to Florida next year. Awesome! It's bricks. Uh, hopefully we can hang out whenever you come down, or depending upon where you're coming exactly. Uh, same with uh, Brick by Brick. Just Disney, though. Okay, well, Disney isn't that far, so I could definitely meet you up if you're interested uh, next time you're here. So, pretty cool. So, what are you bidding slash offering on BW right now? Uh, it's Sheriff Deadpool and the Duck. Uh, you know, Deadpool Duck. Jeez, I forgot the name. I was going to call him Sheriff Duck. You my Deadpool Duck? Because if you win it, I'm going to be mad. I don't know. I, I think it was the 175 or something. You're fired. <laughs> I, I doubt that he's going to let me have it. I think there's one going for 225, so that's like the best best chance I could get a uh, duck for. But um, the others, yeah. No. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, see, MLG, you probably already gone. Sorry, I missed your message. Thanks for coming. Uh, Harry Potter Castle, when it's 50% off in Australia, will still be six hundred dollars wow that's crazy is it really twelve hundred for you aussie dollars i don't know the problem with lego in australia i believe is they have to mark it up more not only for the uh, the the exchange rate which is crazy but i think to import stuff into australia is really expensive Mm -hmm. definitely it's kind of sad but uh uh you know it's to be expected. Let's see. Just Disney. There's a little echo. Where's it come from? Maybe I should unplug this. All right. My Walmart has like a few 50% off sets right now. Nice. I think mine are like at 40 or some are at 40. Um, one is super close that I want to get, but um, yeah, not yet. I'm going to city, Chase. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Legoland and Universal. Awesome. Back to uh, Legoland at some point, but right now it's just a kid place. I can't fit on any rides. Too tall. Me and Just Too Good and Pro Lego Channel went to Legoland. Yeah, yeah, I know. If you guys, I mean, we didn't we didn't particularly ride that many rides. <clears throat> we did a couple of things. It was more just like hang out, see yeah. a couple of the show things, and we should totally do a YouTubers Day at Legoland, Florida. Yeah. What day? When do you want to go? Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> oh are you uh, in like the Florida area? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? 
I know you were joking around. I think I heard like Georgia or something. You were Tennessee, Georgia. I would drive Tennessee. down. Well, you it's I don't even know. I shouldn't say that, but you, it yeah, like it's twelve just... hours to get home, Ryan. No, ten from from Georgia, ten hours. Yeah. I think Orlando is 12 from me. Wow. Not too bad. <laughs> how far I'm going first, day, like, seriously, I came from Louisiana over in 14 hours, so it's pretty good. I don't know. We should do it when it gets a little bit cooler. Like, I don't, I'd don't. i rather not go in the middle of the summer. How often do you come to Florida? Crap. What? How often do you come to Florida? Not very. Yeah. <laughs> we could do... It, when BFAB, if BFAB comes and the four, you can come at the same time. You know, the four of us, Just Too Good would come, Pro Legger channel. Um, we can just forget about the, the other guy. <laughs> Who are I mean, if, we, if we plan this out a couple of months in advance, I'm sure some people would come. Mm-hmm. We should tell. So, what is this? This is July, right? So, almost August. Like, BFAB, when can you get close? In the- no, I don't think so. The water park might, but the park park doesn't. It doesn't get cold. Like, I'm thinking October-ish. Yeah, it'd definitely be open in October. I can, I can do October. I can make it down to Florida in October. Although, I'm going, I think I'm going to BrickCon in October. I think that's October. Or maybe it's September. I don't know. I'll, look, we can talk about it and figure it out. We need somebody that, that goes that I can big time and not tell them who I am. <laughs> I don't think a trip would be complete if I wasn't big time in somebody. I don't know who you could get that we would know. I'm just, I'm just messing around. I was gonna say, wait, I need to big time BFAB, but that'd be cool though. I'd be down to do that. I'll be I'll be right back. All right. All right. Sorry, I'm feeding my face. So if I'm not talking, I'm feeding my face. <laughs> Waiting for BBA to drop to fifty at my local store would be awesome. Yeah, fifty dollars for BBA would be amazing. I think I have like seventy-eight dollars or something right now, so not that good. Um, all the cards, three sets for fifty percent off. Awesome, pretty cool. Fun fact: I met Pro Lego Channel through Omega. Interesting. Brickles, um, remember back in the day when you joined Omega? <laughs> yeah, that was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> That was so fun. Let's see, I'm down for a YouTuber Lego uh, Lego Land Day. Awesome, yeah. So potentially in October we can do that. I forget when uh, we had our hurricane. I think that was like September time. So you know, October would be a good time to do that then. Uh, hurricane season will probably be over by then. I am all the way in Illinois. Yeah, so that's try to quite a travel, but uh, still, you know, it'll be worth it. Meet a ton of uh, awesome YouTubers. There's no here. Okay, bro. My sister is into Michael Jackson. Her room is right. Um, yes, we have import C and rent fee. Uh, C import fee and rent. Now there's weird noises going on. Let's see, if fix that. Australia, the Lego is like <clears throat> is like keeping a laser in a warehouse, so it is shipment. So it is shipment uh, and time left on the shelf as well. I don't know what you mean there. Maybe it's like uh, extra Lego sets in the warehouse or something. I don't know exactly. Uh, mine's at 74, but they haven't moved more. Only gotten a few in. Okay. Welcome back, Red Brick Studios. Yeah, hopefully it uh, goes down to 50. That would be pretty cool, though. Uh, that's what Michael Jackson is. He's got a high pitch voice. Yeah. All right. Well, um, what else we got going on? Welcome back, Red Brick Studios. Oh, AWM, welcome back as well. I don't think I've seen you comment in a little while. All right. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> welcome back. Were you able to build uh, both the sets that you were going to live stream about? No, I built the one. I built the one that I have on screen now. I didn't build the other one yet. Okay. Um, 
Rick Vibe, I think my little shout out for my build channel did pretty well. <laughs> yeah. How many subscribers do you have now? 452. So it doubled almost? I mean, it, well, I think the, the video got suggested a lot because, like, nine hours ago, um, like, nine hours ago, the live views for it just spiked. I'll tell you what it was getting. It was getting, um, so the video went from getting, so, like, yesterday, it got, like, 10 views an hour, and then it kind of dwindled, had a couple hours today, or early, early this morning, where it got zero views, five views from 3 to 4 a.m., like, two or three more views until 8 a.m., and then all of a sudden, between 9 and 10 a.m., it just gets 50 views, six, or, what's this one? 94 views from 10 to 11 after literally having no views two hours before like crazy live jump so it must have got so that was probably part of it but did you release a video on your main channel at that time at 9 a.m no <laughs> i was sleeping yeah no i i understand what you mean yeah that would have it would have done that but yeah it, or it could have i don't know if that if youtube has made the connection there yet it did with my well, when I released the Harry Potter video, it kind of started suggesting my other Harry Potter video, and I saw that. But what, what not. is is that nine a.m. your time or is that nine a.m. YouTube time? Which is nine a.m. my time. No, it's on my time. Okay. It's like right now it's live for ten to eleven. All right. And I've gotten ten views this hour. Let's go. I'll pull a video for tomorrow. I'm glad it's doing well. I mean, it's, I'll probably it'll probably be monetized by like. The end of next month, maybe, if I keep uploading to it, like, semi-consistently. You mean eligible for monetization? Like, it'll, uh, get, it'll be monetized. It'll get monetized. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Let's see. Red but Red. I am thrilled with 450 subs in just a few days, though. So. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that is definitely good. Oh, uh, I mean, people... You shouldn't... It's going to be, a, okay. I mean, it's the watch time that you're going to have the problem with. Like, I'm sure you'll be at a thousand plus really soon. Oh, no, yeah. The the thousand subscribers is not my issue. It's just I have to make videos for it. And, you know, I need to, I don't know. I just need to make videos for it. So, so did you do a time lapse for the shuttle there? Yeah, I had, the, I had a weird setup for it, but it worked. <laughs> Figured. I saw a little clip of um, you building, and you were like sideways. <laughs> trying yeah. To it together. It wasn't a lot of fun, but it was. It's doable occasionally, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I got. I mean, it was. I, I guess this setup is better. Like, it's not a great live streaming setup, but it's better than what I did for the last speed build I did. Um, although I recorded it with the time lapse function on my phone, so it looks wonky when it's slowed down to be. Yeah, so I need to record it, record it as like an actual video and not a time lapse on the phone because that didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, so I have a really kind of low FPS on this next video coming out, but I'll have it fixed after. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Welcome, Phase Rug, the fake Phase Rug. Um, like uh, seven PM, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was real, but I saw the uh, I was just about to verify check mark. Defab, I don't know what's up with your mic, but it sounds like you you put something on it. I hear it. <laughs> it's hard to hear me. Is that still bad or no? That's a little bit better. Yeah, we can hear you now. I'm so far away from the mic. Is oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine like... now. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Oh, that's weird. I mean, oh, my mic is weird. I mean, I dropped it so many times. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't work with my other, like, old 2007 laptop. Now that I actually have a brand new laptop, you know, it actually works. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully that means I can edit video on this and not having to use a, you know, the MacBook downstairs. So, I don't know. Let's see, could you tell me what it was? What, what it was? I did the phase rug. Wait. Is Phase Rogue asking brick by brick, or is Phase Rogue asking me? <laughs> what do you say? 
he said, hey, bro, uh, I'm in your robotics class. Did you get the assignment last week? I'm really struggling in class right now. Can you explain it? Thanks. Are you in a robotics class? No. <laughs> well, then he's not talking to you. <laughs> well, there's no way that he's talking to Brick by Brick like that, too. So I feel like it's just a joke um, account. So. Brick by Brick? You're still in the cup. Sorry. I'm in a cup? What? <laughs> you sound bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God dang. <laughs> Let me unplug my mic. Um, it was something like build a elect electric what electric current that should power the robot. Oh my God. Beefab, do you and Brickworld still have beef? And I didn't think we had any. Is it better or no? I guess so. It's kind of like what you did of walking back to your mic again. But uh, I don't under here. I don't understand why this mic isn't working. The light isn't lighting up anymore, which is really weird. Um, let's see. Is this better? I don't know if I get really close. No. Oh, that's <laughs> worse. You had it good just a second ago. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody totally made a Hedwig that kind of copied, that was based on the design of the Target thing, that is yeah. way better than the Target one. Wow. And it's smaller. It's small? Wow. I mean it's just it there's just a lot more detail on the on the owl. Nice. Okay, is this better guys? Yes. yes. It wasn't plugged in fully, it was halfway and halfway out. I just realized oh. that. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder why this isn't lighting up, but it was still working okay, but it was only halfway in and halfway out, which was kind of weird. Okay. So I'm like, why is it this lighting up? <laughs> I don't know. Um, shoot. Thanks for being. I well, oh, okay. uh, uh, sorry. No, you're good. I had something in mind. I totally forgot it though. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying. Uh, so Red Brick Studios. I didn't know that me and Brick Worlds had beef. I didn't know that. Oh, that that reminds me. What I was gonna ask. <laughs> okay, see, <so> perfect. <laughs> what happened with Maniac? Oh, the whole thing. Um, he decided to post. Uh, go on Instagram. Make a post. No, 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 like what's recent update? Like, has anything? Oh, recent update. Happened? We still hate each other. I know what happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm okay. Um. Yeah, we still hate each other. Yeah. Has the fight been accepted? What's going on there? <laughs> I don't think. I don't think the fight is. I, I just made that as a joke. To be kind of a joke. Um, Any other back and forth bickering? No, he just kind of cut me off. Like, I mean, all is like, all is quiet on Western Front. Yeah. For now. I don't know which. Yeah. He's so easy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Your mic is uh, is it bad again? Really? Yeah, no, it's good again. Yeah, this mic is garbage. I think I need to get a new mic instead of using this blue snowball thing. Um, the blue snowball is good. I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe your connection is just kind of wonky right now. Yeah, I don't know. That that is kind of weird. But like, literally, like, oh, I totally would box him if he actually wanted to box. You know, even though I made a <laughs> joke about it, I totally box. I totally box the maniac for Brick. Yeah, no problem, Red Brick. Uh, we kind of knew what you were talking about because uh, Beefim and I, I don't think we ever had beef. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but yeah. Well, I know you've been frustrated with me. I've been frustrated with you, but not like beef, you know, because like with Brickwood Chicago. Well, you seem really pissed off at Brickwood Chicago a little bit. Like when I kept trying to leave, you know. I, I just wanted I, you to enjoy the experience. I didn't want you to constantly leave. Uh, I understood about like your your little circumstance that you have, but still, like, uh, I, I guess I didn't understand it too well. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, no, no, I don't have an issue with you. I was just like, what? Are you kidding me? You know, I was like, oh, hey, <laughs> He went back and I was like, you were kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like, I've never had, like, beef with Burke World. I, I, okay. I don't think I have. <laughs> just, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of I'm actually, you know, the beef's over, guys. Yeah, the, the beef's over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that cup mic, though. Yeah, the cup mic. I, I don't understand. Like, some days, like, I, I forgot who's uh, channel. Oh, Jamie Brex. And I listened to it, and the mic sounded amazing. So, yeah, yeah. On there. I think it sounds better than my webcam, though, because, like, when I was going to streams, I was using the webcam audio. I think it sounds better. For my Maybe. You should probably just invest uh, in a... Uh, microphone for um the Mac or not that uh, Apple microphone sorry 
Well, I mean, it's not. A, I mean, yeah. I mean, the Apple downstairs thing doesn't have good connection to anything. It has like really bad. Anything you try to plug via USB, uh, the the computer has like a really bad. Um, it won't even really accept. It's always like buzzing. You know. Is it old? Is it older? Computer? Yeah, it's it's older. Yeah. Like how old? Like a decade. I don't. I actually don't. Yeah, pr- I don't know. Probably. Looks like all the other ones that normal pe- like most people have, but I can't even. I don't know really a lot of stuff about Apple products. Mine's only four years old, and you know, four years is really good. But uh, a decade, like those, are a little out of date. Like I think it's every eight years you should update your Mac, like uh, update a new Mac or something like that. <laughs> I wonder who uh, came up with that number. <laughs> you know what's really sad is it's like the it's like the people who say who, like who came up with eight cups of water a day, a water company. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Bro. You know what's funny is, is I, this is the first year that I usually, since I bought my Mac, I've upgraded. And granted, I bought more Macs than that, but my main machine I've upgraded every three years since I've my very first Mac, and I'm on my fourth year with my Mac now. Nice. Yeah, I've had my laptop since I got the 2015 one uh, for Christmas 2015, so I'm coming on three years on that, but. I don't like. I feel like it's a really solid computer, and I don't feel like it's slowing down at all. Like it feels just fine to me still. Well, um, what's crazy is, is my last Mac was a MacBook. My main machine's a MacBook Air, and I basically right. yeah, I cropped those... the screen on it, and it was almost. I just bought a new Mac when I cracked the screen because it was going to be thousand dollars to fix the screen. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I won. I... Um... Oh, good. oh, good. I was going to say if I hadn't bought, if I hadn't cracked the screen. Uh, there's a, probably a very good likelihood that I would still be using that one, but yeah, that just happened. That's the only screen I've ever broke on a laptop, and it just happened to be on year three. I was gonna say in uh, 2016, so like you know, six months after I got my MacBook Pro for Christmas, I graduate graduate high school, and then like graduation night, they held like this event at like a local little theme park, Andretti's uh, Brick Worlds. Um, and so everyone goes there. You stay there from like, I don't know, 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. or whatever. That was the night I also went to Walmart right after graduation to get sets uh, early off the pallet. That was a great night. And then um, I just, I, I remember I got the Resistance X Wing and Captain Rex's ATT. That was cool. Um, and then so I won a MacBook at the, like one of the newer MacBooks with the, just the one USB C. It was like a Mac, the one that they just call MacBook, you know? Yeah. Right. And like it wasn't an upgrade for my MacBook Pro, so I just sold it for I think like nine hundred dollars, which is, I mean, for literally just like you got raffle tickets when you got there, and like I was just like you, there were tons of different bowls you could put your raffle tickets in, and I'm like, I want none of the other stuff here. I really don't even want the computer, but if I win the computer, I'll just take the money. I had like twenty raffle tickets, so I'm like, I'm just gonna put all my tickets in here, and the strategy works. Yeah, so that was pretty dope. Yeah, that's you awesome. Know, if you get regular tickets, here's a strategy that a lot of time works for a lot of people, is most people put their tickets in as a flat ticket. If you crumple or make your ticket more standoutable, there's a highly or it, a, a greater percentage that they'll select yours because oh. it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Good idea. There's like a uh, target... Five hundred dollar gift card going on at our school right now, and <laughs> that'll be awesome. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, you like, like you it? Just you know, your chance it. of winning. <laughs> <laughs> you got to check your uh, Titan email. See. If oh, I'm... I have not been on my Titan email in a year and a half. <laughs> wow. Dude, I am not going to school. <laughs> you guys go to school together? Well, we go to the same way. We don't have any classes yeah. together anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I hopefully thought I, I told you he lived near me. <laughs> I knew he, I knew he lived near you. I just didn't realize you guys went to the same school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Right. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Joe. No, I just got to move down to Florida too, and I'll go to the same school. That'll be really weird. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not a bad school, you know, or, except for some of the courses. But uh, still, it's like. Really awesome. I, I like the campus, and they're upgrading it a little bit, so it's going to be looking a little bit nicer. But yeah, <laughs> we all know the only reason people go to college is for the hot chicks. We all know that, right? Uh, there aren't many at this school. <laughs> okay, 
You know, it's never summer, mind. It, it's it's very bad. <laughs> They're well, I guess I'll stay up here in Minnesota then. <laughs> I don't know. There might be good people looking there. Oh, Minnesota has 10s out of 10s. That's all. 10s <laughs> out of 10s. 10 out of 10. How many 10s out of 10s? We have A lot, especially people. with the second job that I have working at the grocery store thing. Because, okay, so I work in the deli at the other job, and also I get to make smoothies, and I always like these these kicks oh. that go in. Sorry. Who was that? <laughs> There's always these, these like chicks that go like these, these college chicks that come in and they're like you know always buying these like smoothies and stuff so you can make some pretty hot chick smoothies all the time. So. <laughs> Jeez, man. Our Lego talk is devolved. <laughs> Highlight of the day. Hey, wait. Let's let's talk about pickled chicken. Oh gosh. <laughs> I have my no favorite idea. topic. It's uh, you should have made my live stream. You missed it. You missed yeah, all the see, chicken talk. <laughs> I wish I knew what that is. Yeah, you gotta explain. <laughs> no. KFC no is serving pickled fried chicken. Oh no! Here we go. <laughs> That's that nasty. sounds interesting. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Not interesting, but I never, you know, eat that. But I'm vegan. But I'm just saying, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> you just lick the pickle part or eat the pickle part. I don't know what it is. God, that's. Is it like a chicken wrapped in a pickle or a pickle wrapped in chicken? <laughs> it's just chicken. I think it's like marinated in pickle before it's oh, fried. Or, so, or maybe there's, you know, I really don't know what they do. It just tastes a little bit like pickle. Okay. It's, there's not a giant <laughs> no taste anymore. to it. But it would be way better if somebody besides KFC made it because I don't like the way KFC yeah. chicken tastes. <laughs> yeah. All right, I've so been K- let's KFC since 2013. So yeah, <laughs> let's let's move it. Let's move on before um, Ryan leaves because we're talking about pickles again. <laughs> oh, he hates pickles. <laughs> he does. Let's see, Jane seems like a goofy chain. All right, so this is crazy. This is just a chicken story, but there are so <laughs> many places to eat chicken in the town I live in. They ripped out the KFC and put a new one in. And for like two days, when it first reopened, there were people lined up or cars lined up <laughs> around the KFC and out the way you pull into the KFC waiting to get chicken. That is crazy. That's and there's like... like 25 places to eat chicken in my in the place I live. It's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's like Chick-fil-A here. Most of the time, uh, it's always packed. Like there's always cars leading out into – the street and it's just you can't get by because oh, this car is trying to get into there. <laughs> see, Chick Fil A is way better than KFC. Definitely, I love Chick Fil A. It's amazing. I usually like it on a Sunday. However, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I get that. Maybe they close on Sunday. Maybe they're religious. Yes, <laughs> it, it happens sometimes. I'll like. Like I, most recently, before Brickworld, I was playing. I got up early on Sunday for whatever reason because my friends invited me to go play basketball at a park in the morning. And I was like, "All right, great. After I'm done, I'll go get Chick Fil A." And then I'm like, "Yeah, I'm going to Chick Fil A now." And my friend just looks at me funny. I'm like, "What's funny about that?" He's like, "It's Sunday." And I'm like, "Ah, no." So it happens. <clears throat> it's it's sad when it happens too, but it happens. That's yeah. fun. Brick Sanity Customs printed the Comic Con packaging on what looks like little Lego tiles. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. So you can get like a mini Comic-Con, I don't know, like San Diego Comic-Con packaging thing, I guess, for your minifigs. To hold it. Well, it's not the minifig. It's the like the Star Wars set or the Ant-Man. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. Okay, that's cool. It's on Instagram. Look at Sanity's underscore customs. Okay, let's see. I think I might follow him. Let's see. DMK Mox is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Let's see. The mini soda is lit. Uh, I'll watch it once the stream is over. It happened to me this Sunday. <laughs> it's like, nice. Yeah, every time like I drive by it, I, I just think about it, and it's on a Sunday. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> see, the mini soda smoothies. Mini soda smoothies? What? I wonder what that tastes like. <laughs> It's gotta be so weird. Um, 
Let's see any other food restaurants that you guys like? <laughs> there's a uh, there's a sandwich wet restaurant called Witch Witch in town, and it's like the only one in our town. Uh, and I think they I think there's one northern to us, like Tallahassee or Jacksonville, but um, it tastes okay. But it's just like it's so weird that they would have that type of restaurant there. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, they have a lot of competitor competitors nearby. Let's see, Domino's Pizza. Okay, so you like Domino's Pizza? I like Domino's Pizza every now and again. Once they have deals, then it's great. But uh, Papa John's is uh, my go-to. I'm with you. Let's see, today I went for a all-you-can-eat nuggets and fries. Really, all-you-can-eat nuggets and fries. What type of place has that? <laughs> See, I know this is what Lego talk. So yeah. I'm excited about my speed build channel. I think it's gonna do well. Yeah, definitely. Speed builds are. Pretty well, someone comments to like, this is dumb and unoriginal. If I wanted <laughs> to watch speed builds, I would just go on another channel. I'm just like, wait, why did you comment that on this channel? Why wouldn't you just like not even come to it? Yeah, You're just lost. I love how people think they can. You know, there's nothing wrong with sharing your opinion. But, I mean, it brings no value. It's not like you're going to care about what they say, you know? It's not no. like, you know, if somebody goes, oh, Ryan, speed build. You know, obviously, personally, I don't like speed builds. I feel like the best person who does speed build builds is Artifix Creation. Because it's, like, it's very high quality. But, like, for me, I kind of got bored of that once I hit, like, 14. So. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not for your age group. Yeah. yeah, and, I mean, there's nothing wrong with speed builds. I mean, I hope your channel does really well, too, so. I'd like Thank to know, you. I'm interested to know the demographic of who watches speed builds after your channel gets really big. Uh, well, YouTube doesn't even look at anything under 18 anyway, so it's <laughs> not going to really matter. Oh, never mind. You, you can't <laughs> look at, yeah, so there's it. There might be 13, but I don't know. Regard, like a lot of people just use their parents' accounts or sign up with their parents. Like I know my original account, I think, was like with my dad's age, so it's like... It's not like a fifty-year-old's watching these videos or forty, whatever. So, yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to look at mine. Mine's like seventy percent are under eighteen. That is crazy. <laughs> so I just yeah. think, I mean, hypothetically, I think that the his build channel, if it tracked it, it would be proportionally higher than a regular cha Lego channel. But I could be wrong too. I think so. His uh, your vlogging channel, you know, picked up really quickly because you shouted it out and such, and that's you. You're filming videos on there, so I think it will be the same for this new channel because a lot of people like your content and what you produce. So I'm sure. Yeah, that and that's. I mean, what I see is like, I'm just giving it a kickstart, and I want it to grow outside of my existing audience. I just kind of want it yeah. to be for everything. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know, <laughs> makes sense of it, but like. I want it to grow huge, essentially. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Brick Worlds, I know this is your channel, but I have a challenge for Ryan. Can you? Can I tell you what it is, and you can tell him, sure. <laughs> but <clears throat> second time, they've done it. I went both times. Oh, okay. So the, Okay, cool. Um, not trying to be brick busted or roasted, but Chifile is a is disgusting okay well that's uh your opinion about chifile <laughs> i guess let's see uh oh uh ryan did you know that there was like a a set that was called the brick buster like it's a big truck looking thing uh bricks are made a video about it today <laughs> i saw that video because yeah. i was but uh, I, I only watched like the first 20 or 30 seconds because I was doing the live stream thing, I think, with Brick Five or I was going. So I guess it's been a busy day. But yeah, I saw that video today. It piqued my interest. Yeah. And then yeah. I, I read like a couple <laughs> of the comments, but well, I didn't, didn't get too far. Brickbuster banned from Bricklink or something was the name yeah. of the video. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I was like, wait, what did I do? <laughs> I was like, did Ryan get banned from Bricklink? Look, I haven't even been on Bricklink in like <laughs> since I bought. I don't know. I bought something like a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, I was confused. Yeah, I left after he brought out the big, big truck. I was like, oh, so that's what he's talking about. 
<laughs> I was like, Fuck. I was, yeah, I thought he was trying to say something about Ryan. So I started watching it. Like I watched most of Brickstar's videos, but then, you know, I think I fell asleep, not being the Brickstar's video, but <laughs> because, you know, I was tired. So, you know, I, I fell asleep and didn't wake up to like, I, I don't know, like three o'clock or something. Then Brick Vibe was streaming and then, you know, yeah. yeah. See in Australia, KFC bought all the Taco Bell franchise. Interesting. KFC or Pepsi owns KFC and Taco Bell, and who else? I don't remember, but they didn't. Pep or KFC didn't buy Taco Bell. Pepsi owns KFC, Taco Bell, and somebody else. So Pepsi pretty much purchased um, Taco Bell then. Yeah, but I mean that was a long time ago. I yeah, mean, it's been yeah. since I was a kid they've owned it. Hmm. There's a third yeah. one they own too that's pretty big. I can't remember. Uh, it's Pizza Hut. Yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say that like um, Taco Bell and Pizza Hut are, you know, usually combined little stores. Like so one just opened up nearby. Or is it KFC? I don't remember now. <laughs> I could be I could be wrong about that, but Pepsi owns three companies, and those three make sense in my head. But I'm sure that they own quite a bit more KFC, because Coca-Cola, oh, they own, own a lot. Like, it's crazy. See the list that they own? It's just amazing. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I guarantee they own more than that. But yeah. those are the, the major the, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. food places that they own. Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, Dan, just what? <laughs> um, I'm going to head out, guys. Oh, see, AWM, thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. I like to eat uh, haters. Are you saying haters there? <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's the challenge for you, uh, m &R. Tell him this challenge. Tell him to go to a random public place with people that don't know about LEGO and tell him to ask random people if you heard of a new set coming out. I kind of did that target. Like, they had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so <laughs> pretty easy. <laughs> I have a better challenge. I want Ryan to go on an intercom in a store and be like, subscribe to M&R Productions. Mm. Run <laughs> Man, I could never do that. Like, it's so weird. I think, Ryan, I, think Ryan, I think Ryan could do that. I don't think Ryan has much shame. Not in a bad way, you know? That's what I'd I say go to a store that's 60 miles away so you're not banned from that store. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Bfab, how do you... Uh, how did you make your profile pic? How did I make it? I took a picture on a white background, and then I hit up Ultimate Bricks, and I said, hey, I want this photo transparent, so he made it transparent. And then I kind of used some editing. I made it pop a little bit. Um, so I think it looks better with a white background. I had so much stuff in my other backgrounds, and kind of inspired, inspired by m &R's profile pic, I decided, like, you know, let me use a white background, but it just looks clean and professional. So Yeah. So why is your uh, character sweating? Uh, but I get nervous over everything. And so um, since also that was the only profile pic that I had in a, you know, that was had a transparent background, but that paid ultimate bricks to make it transparent for me. Okay. Um, and so because of that, um, I just started using that one. Uh, but it was also really high quality too. So I like, you know what? I'm always nervous around people. Let me just ditch the satchel. <laughs> That I usually have, but I'm not a you know, and then yeah, I just use a sweating face sometimes, I guess. I might change it to like a normal face, the old one that I used to have and have it still on a white background. But yeah, I guess mm. it's kind of a story of my life when it comes to my face. So who's your bricks tell or is telling us what um company owns KFC, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, it's Yum brands, I guess. So they own like all that, I guess. So I, I don't know if that's attached to Pepsi. I just opened. Up, I just Googled um, what Pepsi owns, and they own KFC and. So they on might Wikipedia, own Wikipedia, but yeah, they might own Yum Brands. Then I'll go into Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, they do. Yeah, more than okay, So yeah, they own Yum Brands, so that makes sense. But mm -hmm. it's Taco Bell. Pizza Hut's not listed. Which oh yeah, it is. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. They also own California Pizza Kitchen and several oh. other places. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's like if you look at what brands own how many other brands, like when you boycott somebody, you're probably either eating or drinking or using another one of their brands regardless, even if you're exactly. boycotting the company. Yeah. Yeah.
I want to know what uh, Coca Cola owns, like uh, what type of. Restaurant. I tried to Google that, or it's for some reason like PepsiCo is on Wikipedia, but I couldn't find the parent. Like it talks about Coca Cola, but it doesn't talk about like its parent company that. Yeah, there's probably like a, a different um, company that owns Coca Cola, and then you see the whole list or something from that. Because. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Sorry. Because <laughs> PepsiCo has Yum brands. So, never mind. I, I'm getting them backwards. But yeah, somewhere. Uh, oh, here it is. List of Coca Cola company subs. Um, see anything that pops out? Philippines. Uh, that's a restaurant. They own Columbia Pictures. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Kind of makes sense because those Coca Cola machines are everywhere. Like uh, all the restaurants and such, and fast food places, they have it because it's so useful. You know, you got so many different flavors of sodas in one machine. It's just like, why did no one think about this before? You know what the most popular drink in those machines is? What? Water. Coke. <laughs> oh, well, shocker. <laughs> plain, plain Coke. Yeah. I was just, I was just taking a shot in the dark at something you would, you would be like, oh, that's interesting. Coke would have been my actual first guess, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what. When I went and got my pickled fried chicken today, they had a different machine, like the big machine that mixes that you get whatever out of. And like when I go to the movie theater, I drink Dr Pepper. So they have vanilla Dr Pepper, they have cherry vanilla Dr Pepper, and they have strawberry Dr Pepper. Wow. But I, I'm allergic to red food dye. The okay. one at KFC today let you pick your main drink. And then up to three add-ons, so I could drink vanilla Dr Pepper and just add vanilla, and I was really impressed. Like I was like, "Why don't the big machines do that?" Yeah. Instead of them telling you what you can mix, just give you how many ever main drinks you have, and then how many ever add-ons you have, and let you mix your own instead of saying, "Well, you can have strawberry Dr Pepper or vanilla or cherry vanilla Dr Pepper or cherry Dr Pepper." Well, what if you want, you know, like I just want vanilla Dr. Pepper. You can't do that at most places. Hmm. So I'm sure that's coming to the other machines. It's just this one does that. I've never tried any of the um, other type of drinks out there. I've only ever had like the ones you've grown up with. So I got to try and branch out and try something different. Like, uh, I don't know, different sprites, uh, root beers. Never had Dr. Pepper before. So, you know, I'll try that You've first. never drank Dr. Pepper? Never, never. There's a lot of drinks <laughs> I've never had, but yeah, wow. Dr. Pepper never had that. Coca-Cola had that before. I don't know. I, I can't stand it uh, a whole lot. I know MNR loves it, but I, I don't know. I, I can't just stand it. It's so weird. That and Pepsi. Pepsi Pepsi's so weird to me. I personally think all soda, everyone that I've tried at least, they're okay in moderation. Like you, let's say you're like you go on a rut or whatever, and then you you know drink it. They're good, but like if I'm just taking a shot at Coca Cola or Dr Pepsi, Dr Pepsi, as I'm about to say, Dr <laughs> Pepper, or like Pepsi, I don't like them other than like Sprite. That's the only one, and yeah. I used to have an addiction to Sprite. <laughs> Me and lemonade, that was my addiction. <laughs> That's Are probably you... why I have all these cavities now, or <laughs> have. <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, Pepsi is one of like the most famous ones because it was like the first soda to go in uh, the space shuttles and such. So I guess that's pretty cool. But um, I, I could never like it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, by the way, Brickworlds, guess what I bought today? Two more Tron sets. Now I have six sets. Wow. That's what? Great. Who got how many? What? Oh, Tron. I was thinking Voltron. I was about to say what? No, I don't know if anyone will get six of those. <laughs> They look cool, like, but there's no way I'm going to buy them. I mean, I guess they're already out, but there's no way I'm going to buy it. I'm going to wait. Well, I'm going to wait a while before I buy it. As well as yeah. Before I'm going to buy it, like, immediately. So. I had five before they were released. Oh, wow. Not a... Never mind. I lied about buying six of them. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> you probably got them, them for a deal, right? Hopefully. No, I – well – I did get them for a deal actually, but okay. um, I got in truck. Like, I was gonna build them live. I was gonna live stream building them. And building them all the way, and that's the set that I got them before they were released. And 
Lego, I publicized that I was going to do it. And Lego actually contacted me and asked me politely not to do it yeah. until they released it. So it was before they announced it was coming out or it was before, before the set? they released the actual set photos. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. But Jimmy I mean, they the released plow. the set photos like a week before. Like they held off on it for some reason. They released the set photos a week before they actually released the set. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Jimmy the Clown, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, let's see. And the five videos were <coughs> 10 minutes and 20 minutes. Okay, cool. That's another set talking about bad set deals. The Tron set's really not a very good value or price. Yeah. For an yeah, idea. I, like I mean, it. most idea sets are a lot. Like, I feel like you get more for your money, and the Tron set is just. It's just not there, in my opinion. Yeah. I wish that I didn't buy been. it for $35. $30 would be a little bit better, but uh, yeah. I mean, I think twenty five. I mean, thirty dollars would be better. I think twenty five is the price it should be, though. Yeah, but uh, Lego doesn't really give the best discounts on uh, sets like that unless they really want it gone. Yeah. Let's see, I once photoshopped my teacher's face onto every member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> I've been lost in my closet for a few months, but I'm back. Okay. Uh, have fun, guys. Vibe. See you. See you tomorrow. Hoosier Pick says. See you, Hoosier. Thanks so much for coming, Josh K. Josh K. Welcome and Phil. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Anyone in the stream play Xbox One? Uh, not really anymore. It's Mountain Dew. It's Mountain Dew. Okay. Um. Pepsi in Austria is Gatorade, Seven Up, and Mountain Dew. <laughs> Who owns Dr. Pepper? I don't know. Probably some other bigger company. Who owns Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Um, Dr. Pepper, Pepper, I believe, is its own company, and it's distributed by Coke. Um, yeah, it's looking like. It is its own company, and it has a bunch of smaller companies. Mott's, um, a bunch of companies I've never heard of. Uh, yeah. This is the Dr. Pepper Snapple group. <laughs> Dr. Pepper and Snapple are the... So yeah. Dr. Pepper, Snapple, RC Cola, A&W Root Beer, 7-Up, a bunch of them are the same. Okay, A&W, yeah. Yeah, this is total, total exciting talk for a Lego channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it's just a random stream of just like whatever we can think about. I it's only like, got like five minutes good. left, so make it good. <laughs> make it good. You're, you're leaving in five minutes? Yeah, the old Bricks and Bits guys want to Skype and play some games, so. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ryan. Did you know us already? <laughs> I know. I want to play. With it. We had fun last night, so I can't wait to play again. <laughs> talk again. We just, we just, I don't know. We talk about Lego stuff and whatever. Cool. You like ginger oh. ale? Yeah, ginger ale is pretty good. It's a good uh, sprite. Ginger ale. Oh my god, it's so good. Well, how is ginger ale good? Maybe I'm getting the bad ginger ale. Did you just call it ginger ale? I mean, <laughs> ginger ale. That's what, you know what I'm thinking about right now? I have a ginger ale kombucha right in front of me. Ginger, it's called ginger ale, um, okay. the kombucha. So that's why yep. I'm saying that. Ginger sure. ale is disgusting in my opinion. <laughs> well, I don't well. know. Sorry, Ryan. I have to disagree. Sorry. I'm, I'm dropping a debate stream now <laughs> <laughs> over ginger ale. Let's see, DMK Mox. Yes, I believe I know why you have six of them. Uh, you're just making a huge mock out of all of them. So cool. A Tron mock out of? Uh, I don't know how that works. Yeah, uh, I, I don't Wait, know why a, exactly. Is it Voltron or Tron? Which one is he Tron, talking? About? Tron, not Voltron. Okay, Tron. that's what I was thinking. But I know we were talking about that earlier. I'm tired. That's my excuse. Um, okay. I think I heard someone the other day say that. Um, uh, the Voltron set was based off of the 80s set. I don't know if that's exactly right because, you know, they have the new Netflix um, 
series out that's been on for like five years now. I'm pretty sure it's based off of that because of the popularity that grew from it coming back, I guess, in a way. But uh, yeah, I never knew about the 80s uh, before the um, new one came out. So it's pretty interesting. It was MNR. MNR, did you post about that? I feel like post it was you or just too good. Either of you posted or said that it was about the 80s, um, 80s Voltron. Not me. <laughs> Let's see. Ginger 8. Ginger 8 is lit when you are an old man in the wheelchair. <laughs> it's actually a thing. If you look it up, kombucha, GT Day is kombucha ginger aid. I literally bought 30 of them and they're four bucks a piece. So they better be, I mean, they're the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. Be. yeah, they're good. I'm not a big ginger aid fan. Yeah. Um, finger ale. What is finger ale? Keeps the insides yeah. regular. What? Yeah. Oh, ginger ale? I think you're saying ginger ale. Okay, you're <laughs> saying ginger ale. Oh my god, that would be so weird. Uh, are we living in the world, real world? Yes, we are. See ya. Oh, see ya, DMK. Thanks so much for coming. Voltron is based on 80s, I think. I don't know. I feel like it's the updated version. Uh, you know, the, um, the Netflix one is based off of the 80s one, but in the updated version. So I feel like the new set, or the Lego set, is from the Netflix series. I need help. Okay. Uh, Ginger Ale is like real. Okay. Plant Roots, what? Uh, it has stickers so you can choose between Jap Japanese or American. Really? I did not know that. Japanese or American stickers. Wow, that's amazing. See, BFAB, I know exactly what you were talking about. I deal with it frequently in the dairy department. <laughs> um, Yes, old Voltron did not uh, have movable parts in 1980. Okay. Voltron. All right. I'm going to call it here for me. Y'all have man. fun. Thanks for coming. Me on. Talk to you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Rick. Bud. See, See you later. later. See you tomorrow. Yep. Let's see. Hello, Saldex Astro. Thank you so much for coming. Otherwise, Jimmy the Clown is still a thing. I don't know anything about Jimmy the Clown, but. Yeah, I guess so. In 1980 version, Voltron, they all just merged. I thought that's, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like um, merging into like one cockpit. Maybe that's what you're saying there. Because I don't know exactly. Uh, never watched it. It's kind of like Power Rangers in a way, if they are all, all merging into one cockpit like that. This picture of Lego had the Power Rangers license. What like type of brand or like what type of group of people it brand? They do exactly like Voltron building huge mechs like that. I don't know if they would make it into one big set unless it was a Lego ideas, but if they had the theme, like license for the theme, they would probably make multiple different sets they could combine into one big set. Oh, when I said, I meant, I just said Power Rangers. I think I meant Transformers, you know? That'd, oh be, awesome. That'd be so awesome. Yeah, Transformers would be awesome. I mean, I wish they had Star Trek. <laughs> I think I think that'd be cool, but it's a very unique, different thing. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, but I guess it would uh, kind of compete with uh, Star Wars in a way, so they'd probably not do that I mean, until. Nah, not really. I feel like they they're way too big fan bases. As long as they have Star Trek, I I would I yeah. would guarantee it. Well, I, I feel like they both target way different audiences. You know. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, I feel like I'm a Star Trek fan and a Star Wars fan. I'd buy both mm -hmm. sets. Yeah, I think I one too. set would be cool for Star Trek, like the giant ship. I don't even know what it's called. I've Enterprise. Seen... What is it called? Enterprise. Oh, okay, Enterprise. that's what it's called. Okay. I mean, I saw. I know, like oh the God. '80s part stuff. So. Bfab, we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know the name. <laughs> well, I know they had some reruns back uh, on some like old TV thing before I had cable. I watched yeah, a few maybe. of them. Sorry, you know, there's been like six Star Trek series now, and yeah, almost twenty movies and an oh, animated wow. series, hundreds oh, of awesome. books and comic books. Yeah, it's just a lot. I know there's a guy named Spock. I think so. Spock, yeah. There is a guy named Captain Spock. Kirk. Uh, I don't know all of them, but uh, those are the main ones. <laughs> you know, like Captain we talking Kirk. original series. We got Captain Kirk. 
uh, Mr. Spock, uh, Scotty, Chief Engineer Scotty Montgomery, I believe is his last name. Um, Sulu, Akira Sulu, or Hero, I don't know how to pronounce the first name, but it's Sulu. Chekhov, Lieutenant Ahura. Who am I missing? That's probably all of them. Bones. That, oh, yeah. Um, Dr. McCoy. Dr. McCoy. It, it's pretty crazy. If they make another Star Trek movie, I wonder how they're going to play off uh, Chekhov or, uh, you Chekhov, know, the Russian yeah. guy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't think he was in the last one. I thought he was. And Maybe then he, he got rolled over by his car and then died, you know. so Maybe. I knew he, I knew he died. Um, I thought maybe he was in the I, – I can't remember now. Yeah, I don't know. I'll look it up, Star Trek Beyond. Because it came out like a year or two ago. I, th- I think it was two years ago. I think it's longer than that. Maybe, maybe two or three. I can't remember now. <laughs> so you, let's, do, let's do the next generation. Are we ready? We got Captain John Luke Picard, <laughs> Commander William Riker, Counselor Deanna Troy, Lieutenant Commander Data, Commander or Lieutenant Commander Worf, um, Tasha Yar was on there for the first year. And then um, Dr. Beverly Crusher. <laughs> Jordy LaForge. Wesley Crusher, who's Dr. Crusher's son. <laughs> Am I missing anybody? Mm, I think that's it. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, so then we got Deep Space Nine. Oh, we got Commander Cisco, who began, eventually became Captain Cisco, <laughs> Captain Benjamin Cisco, his son Jake Cisco. Then there was um, Major Kira Norris, uh, Odo, Doctor Julian Bashir, um, Lieutenant Jadzia Dax, who eventually became Lieutenant or Esri Dax. Chief Miles O'Brien. I feel like I'm missing some people here. Probably. There's a lot. <laughs> see. I mean, I could keep going. There's more series if you really want me to. No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm just trying to name off what I knew. <laughs> but yeah, um, he was in the uh, the last one, and then he died a few months later. Okay. Yeah. So, really crazy. <laughs> Wait, what was the cause of death? He was working on his car and it fell on him. No, they have like a weird name for this. Oh. It's dramatic, like X. I can't even say it. Let me try and use a speech. Dramatic asphyxia. Did you hear that? Traumatic asphyxia. Yeah, it's basically his car fell on him, so it crushed him and he couldn't breathe, I assume, because it's traumatic okay. asphyxiation. Okay, okay. Is work. I mean, I'm not an expert. Yeah. That's what I'm assuming it is because his car fell on him. Yeah, they probably didn't want to say die by a car. <laughs> it's a weird situation. So he was working on his car, like he had it like up. I, I thought someone said that he um, yeah. didn't put the parking brake on and it just like rolled over him. So it makes I'm better pretty sense. sure it fell on him. Like yeah. the blocks fell out or the jack or something. But I mean, Brandon, you know, it's been a few years ago. So yeah, so that's probably what happened then. Uh, all right, I've got to go. See you, everyone. See you, brick by brick. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Clone Wars coming back. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. I hope that there's going to be some awesome new sets coming out for Lego Star Wars like that because What's you know the some Clone more. Wars? What was that? What's the Clone Wars? Uh, Star Wars is Clone Wars, the What's TV that? show. What's that? It is a TV show no, that was I'm just on. What was that? I'm just kidding. Okay, I had a feeling. <laughs> I was like. Okay, I guess I'll say this. <laughs> no, I tried, uh, so I never watched the Clone Wars, like, or I should say, I watched like an episode or two of it. I never got into it, and then when they announced that it was coming back, I was like, "Oh, I'll just start watching it. It'll be all good." And like, I, I just can't. Like, I started at episode one, and I, I just like I watched the first three, and I'm just like, I, I don't get it. I'm not excited. Yeah, yeah. You had to be like a kid back in the day when it first came out. That's like, what Ryan told me. Yeah. But I watch other cartoons. I mean, I'm still, I don't know. 
Yeah, I guess because you you kind of know the aftermath of it all, but it's just pretty interesting seeing like the clones perspective of like all these different battles that they fought in and such. It's just pretty interesting seeing <laughs> that front and finally getting it finished off is pretty awesome. Did they uh, leave it? Like, did they cancel it, not finish it? Uh, that's what a couple of people are saying. I, I can't remember exactly because it's been like a year or t- or more since I last saw it, but um, I, I think they did leave it on a cliffhanger. They were supposed to have like um, another two episodes or something. So they're going to finish the two episodes off and then move into uh, the next season and um, finish it off in that in, uh, the next season like that. So yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting. I can't wait wait to find out exactly what all goes on like transpires. I really liked uh, seeing all these different battles that they had going on in um, all the different episodes and such but it really stunk when it uh was canceled Um, did that take place before episode three like yeah in our life or like in real life in our life like was it released before episode three no no okay so like you knew what happened already too yeah 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 I, i know what happens but you know from the perspective of all the characters and such in in the series because it's not just uh, Obi Wan and um, Anakin; um, it, it's like all of them, all the clones, uh, Anakin, or sorry, uh, Ahsoka. Uh, it's just like a lot of uh, interesting little things in there. So I, I'm suspecting that this last season is probably going to be Episode Three in a way. So that will be pretty interesting to see exactly because like um, Episode Three went by pretty quickly, and you didn't see all that much, like all the execute. As, as uh, executions of all the um, Jedi and such, I, I want to see more in depth of like all that happening, transpiring. Like, see if uh, some of the Jedi are able to fight back in a way. So, yeah. I like Rebels. I never could get into that. Like, uh, I didn't like um, how it took over Clone Wars in a way. But um, I guess if it goes on Netflix, I definitely will binge watch that because you know it it's a Netflix. Star Wars thing. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Yeah, I don't think it is. Somewhere. I don't think it is yet. Hopefully it will. Actually, no, since it's Disney, I think uh, Disney is opening up their own streaming network here soon at some point. So it might go on that. That's what Clone Wars is going to go on. Yeah. Uh, I'm so pumped for the Disney streaming network or whatever. I mean, I heard it's going to have, well... Disney. Oh yeah, never mind. Well, I'm so tired. Sorry, I'm like laying and waking up and sleeping. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Hopefully. Yeah. I want to know. I DC wanna... having their own streaming service too. DC. Yeah. Really? I mean, everybody has their own streaming services. Yeah. They all have... I want one streaming service that streams everything, not a hundred that I need to pay. Yeah. Twenty dollars a month to. Yeah, I mean, that's why uh, Disney should have stayed with Netflix, or you know, but obviously Disney's going to w- make way more money on their own. Right. Yeah. I just hope that, uh, I, I think they said their whole archive of films and TV shows or something is going to be on that streaming network. So if that's true, then that would be great because, you know, they have, they've had so many great films and TV shows, or I guess just films, over the past many years so that would be awesome to kind of get you guys are totally too young for this because this happened in the days before the internet but um like disney used to release their videos on vhs i don't know if you guys know what that is or not yeah i was yeah. VHS. Okay. um but i was just being funny um <laughs> like they would they would release them from the vault and then put them in the vault and stop selling them well wow. So, like, you couldn't buy certain Disney movies at certain times because they were in the vault. Wow. I mean, is that not complete, like, crazy when, like, yeah. our society is like, I want this, I want it now, I want it, and I don't want to, like, like, the whole reason why Blockbuster basically went away is because Netflix is the deal. Yeah. Like, I can't even tell you the last time I like my dvd shelf full of dvds that i didn't just like i have it on dvd but it's just easier to go to netflix and if i don't have it just find something else that's on netflix i don't need to watch that movie so bad yeah exactly netflix has become so beneficial for me you know i have cable i don't even find myself watching cable anymore i just go to netflix you know if i want to see a let's say 
Flash or whatever. Let's say I want to see the full season. You know, I just wait till it's all released on Netflix. I don't care about watching an episode every week and waiting to see what happens, you know? Yeah. There's, there's only a few shows. Like, I watch Flash month or weekly. Hmm. I watch This Is Us weekly. And I watch The Prophet weekly. And I think that's it. Everything else I watch, I try to wait. Like, I'm waiting for Walking Dead to go to Netflix so I can binge watch it. Is it going to be back on Netflix? I know it was on there like a year ago or whatever. I'm sure it will be. Okay. Yeah. I primarily I use Hulu, Hulu, Netflix, and uh, Amazon Video because those are just amazing. Hulu. I need to get Hulu. People have told me to get Hulu. I mean, it's like eight bucks or whatever that I heard. So I think eight bucks is the uh, one without ads. So, you know, it's pretty decent monthly too. So. Oh, that's a good deal. I mean, I know Netflix right now. I believe I'm paying thirteen ninety nine. I'm paying for the Ultra HD. Uh, it's either thirteen ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like um, six of us are splitting the bill for this uh, Netflix and Hulu thing, so it's pretty beneficial. <laughs> it's only like a few dollars for each of us. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I don't share my Netflix with anybody in my house. I'm like, hey, can we have access to your Netflix. I'm like, nope. Well. You can have different profiles. I want them still have access. They're not paying for it, so. <laughs> well, you know, they could who do you live that. with? Uh, my mother and my little brother. How yeah. old is your little brother? Fourteen. But yeah, I mean. I don't know. Maybe I should get Hulu. I mean, people keep telling me to get it. I'm tempted to, but I heard that they had a, they had like a, a TV series for like DC or Marvel. I forgot what it's called. Um, Runaways or something. Yeah, they've had like two of those now, and I, I can never get into those. Like it's just like they're trying to make extra money, which won't work out because I think there was um. A mutants or or something like that uh, that came on TV yep. recently and it just yep. like got canceled right away because it yep. was not good. Well, I know for uh, DC streaming network that's coming soon or whatever it is. Um, they're gonna have uh like two shows. They're having one called Swamp Something. Swamp Thing. Yeah, and then they have one other one. I think it is or two other ones. Which they're only released for that, which I think is really cool because I mean I'm a superheroes fan anyway. You know, I'm pumped for Young Justice season three. They're having that on that, so I can't wait for that to happen. Same here. It's gonna be amazing. <clears throat> I hope that they come out with an official trailer because I think the Comic Con trailer was just like uh, the run around from the past two seasons. Oh no, there's new stuff in there. Did you see the thing? It's like a five minute trailer. Oh, half of right. it. Five new. minutes. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Never mind. <laughs> I was just like watching it. I was like, this seems similar. Yeah, me. yeah. The first half was, I, I mean, I'm just pumped for it. But it's been so young, long since Young Justice. I feel like Young Justice is one of the, you know, animated series that's not only targeted towards kids. It's not kid bound, you know? Yeah, that's one. Uh, that's how I got to know Blue Beetle and like like the character. So that's why he's my profile pick now because I, I just like him. He's just awesome. And he was like a, a main part of the Young Justice in a way because of, uh, the aliens invading and such because of um, um, the beetle, because the yeah. black beetle and the green beetle. So, you know, pretty cool. I like yeah. the storyline. It's awesome. Let's see exactly but I know. I hope, uh, I, I don't think this is a spoiler, but I hope that they bring back Kid Flash. I think it's Kid Flash. Or, they, I believe they will. I believe the voice actor is confirmed to come back. Yeah, because, like, that's crazy how he died like that. <laughs> Sad that he wasn't fast enough, but still, like, um, I wish that they kept him. You know, the, the first reason I canceled in the first place is, um, at least from what I was reading online, um, the, the movie, I mean, the TV series was funded by the toys, but the toys didn't sell well. Yeah. So that's why they ended up canceling it, from at least what I heard. If they make Lego sets about that, then that would be pretty cool. Oh, I'd love that. That would be awesome. Get another Blue Beetle. <laughs> Rick Bob, you have an opinion on Young Justice? You know what it is? Yeah, I watched it. Um, I thought it was good. I mean, they kind of left it hanging too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big cartoon guy. That's why I'm surprised I can't get into the Clone Wars. 
<laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I thought Netflix was supposed to take it off, but I don't know why it's still on there. Like, I thought I saw the other day. It's still on Netflix. What is? Uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still on there, so, you know, you have plenty of time, hopefully, to watch it if you ever feel like you want to binge it. Uh, but, yeah, there's so many good stuff to watch on Netflix right now. I don't think I would ever rewatch The Clone Wars ever again. <laughs> I'm out of things to watch. I've literally, every new series that I, you know, I think I'm interested in, too, I've watched. I mean, like, right now, you know, I don't like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and I didn't like it for, like, the first, like, five episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, I'm now starting to watch that. But other than that, I've watched, like, every single, like, superheroes cartoon or, you know, animated series or TV series that's come out on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. At some, point, at some point, I'll get to uh, watching that. I just have way too much on my list right now. I'm just mainly trying to binge watch um, Hawaii Five-0 because you know, I finally got on to Netflix. So. Oh, yeah, they, they updated the season. I watched it in like a week or whatever before I had my second job. You watched all of the Hawaii Five-0 in a week? Yeah, literally because before I was doing my second job, other than when I wasn't working, I was just watching like Hawaii Five-0. Wow. I'm on episode two. I just started it. It's so good, you know? It's like... Yeah. Now, I, what I'm saying, I, I binge-watched a new season all week. Not the whole... I, like, I know, I know. Okay. I was going to say, just, you know, <laughs> I watched it a while back, you know, yeah, before I even had a job. I was it's like so many episodes. And I don't think... Uh, I, I think the older um, series has more episodes still in seasons. I think they're still behind in that. I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, they're, I believe season nine is the next season they're doing, from what I recall. Um, yeah, so yeah. that's coming out, I guess, September or whatever it is. Yeah, I know uh, that. I was just uh, comparing it to, like, the, uh, the one oh, that the 80s had. one. Or yeah. Like, they Jack had some Moore. seasons in that. It was just amazing. A lot of went on for. And it's pretty cool that they somewhat uh, incorporate some of the um, older villains and such into the uh, the newer uh, um, you know, newer episodes and such. Or, you know. I like Wolf Fat. And, uh, yeah. What would it be called? Older one? I want to know exactly how many seasons they had. Old version. Wow. It went on for 12 years. What did? Y50. The older one. Oh. That's amazing. 12. I mean, the newer one so far is at 8. I mean, going to 9, yeah. I, I know. Like, that seems like it's caught on again and especially in the modern world uh should be pretty awesome and yeah, just so you know i don't want to say any spoilers but i mean you know obviously you know two of the main characters are gone yes. yeah okay yeah. so you knew about that already and the yeah. ratings are still doing amazing and i'm surprised you think like two of the you know after i believe seven seasons of those you know two of the main characters being there they leave you think the ratings would fall a little no, yeah, they're doing yeah. really well still. So, yeah, I was yeah. disappointed to hear that that happened, but I, I guess like you know they want to move on, do other stuff. So, well, I mean, do you know the? Oh, I mean, that was the reason they left Their over. Contract ended, so they decided to just you know uh, a little bit. Not, I mean, not really true. According to what they said on the internet, it says they weren't getting paid equal pay, and they tried to renegotiate for equal pay, and that's bad. You know, yeah, because and they took it as more of a race thing. Um, because I know Scott can, uh, Scott Con or whatever his name is, and Alex, uh, whatever it's Low Lawton. I can't even say his name accurately. Um, both of them are making, I believe, like two hundred grand an episode, and I believe these people were making like fifty, sixty thousand dollars less. And so they tried to renegotiate, you know, their contracts, but you know they wouldn't, you know, give them, I guess, a raise or whatever. So they just both left. That's why. Yeah, but that's like two million a year or something like that. For them. yeah, I mean the the thing is like if I'm even making a hundred grand an episode, maybe I look at it like you know it's not fair. You know some of the but you know two they're making two hundred thousand. I'm also a main character. I'm making you know a hundred thousand. I kind of be a little pissed too, but it's like you know I think they should just renegotiate their contracts. But I mean, um, I mean the ratings are still doing well, so I guess it didn't really affect anything. Yeah. If I oh, had a job like that, I would I would be comfortable. I would just like if this is guaranteed to go on for many many years, and yeah, I would stay for that much money because that's a guaranteed job in in a sense. But uh, yeah, for sure makes sense why you know they want to 
to read and such. Isn't that oh, right? bring up Hawaii Five O. I think I already told you this, but the the producer of Hawaii Five O uh, retweeted Ultimate Bricks's um, post. That was awesome. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I was really mind blown. I'm like, yeah, I got to voice act in that. So you heard my voice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I felt like uh, the beginning of the second episode is pretty dark with uh, and shooting the dog. Like I just saw that this morning and I was like, oh man, are you kidding me? That's so messed up. Why would they show that? Like, that oh, so you're at season crazy. eight right season now. Eight. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. I thought you were saying you were okay. just starting it. Okay. Yeah. You're just starting the new season. Episode. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't worry. He lives. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> Sorry. I, I know, but uh, still, like, the situation is so weird. Like, uh, shooting the dog like that, like, that should not happen. And I, I was happy with uh, how McGuire kind of handled the situation. Like, he should never shoot a dog or should take care of this dog very, uh, you know, quite well and such. What in the name of blinked is this con section? I don't know. Jimmy the clown just came out of nowhere and just going kind of crazy right now. But guys, I think I'm going to end it off here. We've been going for around three hours. So I really appreciate everyone coming in, supporting the channel. And uh, thank you for the panelists joining in. BFAB, Brick Vibe, and MNR was here earlier. So I appreciate them coming in. And hopefully we can uh, have them sometime in the future. But that is it. Any last words from you two? I'm going to have to sleep. And well, actually, I'm going to watch Netflix. I just lied. <laughs> you, Sounds good. If you want to watch, uh, me and MNR are going to be, our MNR is going to be on my show tomorrow night, Building Live with Brick Vibe at 7 p.m. Eastern. Awesome. Tune in and watch us there. All right, guys. So make sure to check him out uh, tomorrow on Brick Vibe's channel. He's going to be streaming. I will definitely be there as long as I can. Uh, I don't know exactly what I have going on, but 7 p.m., be there. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.